Hey, everybody. Fatbird finds a year. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. How's it going, Laura? Oh, I, I feel like a newscaster for the early bird hour. Do I feel you? like I should say, this just in. Do you feel yes. good about it? <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. bartender. You're welcome. You're welcome. Look at that. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Yay. Hey, everybody. Let's see who else here, shall we? Man, this is really a change a change in our Friday night schedule around here. Yeah. We really are. <laughs> thrown off by now. You know, we're like running around. We're just all thrown off by that extra hour a little bit. We are. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Dawn, hello. Hello to Ruthie. There's LaDonna and Amy. Hello, Amy. Holly Parker is here. Tiger. There's Julie. <laughs> Helen Casey is with us. Helen Casey. Laura Moon Woman all the way down in Georgia. Are you ready for St. Patrick's Day, Laura Moon Woman? <laughs> you better get ready, Laura. <laughs> Hello. I never know if it's Dina or Deanna. I think it's Dina. Megan said she met three people from Kentucky at work today. Oh. And two went to UK and one went to Murray. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Catherine, how's it going? Colleen is here. Hello, Colleen. Karen Radford. <laughs> Nettie. Jamie. This just in. I almost forgot it was Friday. <laughs> How could you forget, Jamie? Hey, Cindy Lou. Hey, Angela. Hello, hello. Cindy Lou who? I know. <laughs> Debbie is here. Brenda Bad is here. Welcome everybody. Look Susan at all Davis, these early birds. Leanne is here. Debbie, Sherry. There's our friend Simply Shenanigans, Eclectic <laughs> Deb. Welcome everybody. Okay, so here's the question. Cheers, Jennifer everybody. Cagle. Hello, Jennifer Cagle. So here's the question. Here's the first question. You know, last last week we brought back some some throwbacks, right? Yeah. We that did, was fun. We did some throwbacks last week in in the early bird hour. Mm -hmm. Get ready for some more. <gasps> Sugar Bridges. There's a throwback. <laughs> There's a throwback. Speaking of throwbacks, what's up, Sugar Bridges? And there's Nancy. Hello from Facebook. Good to see you. Okay, so here's my throwback. You ready? I'm ready. All right, everybody. Y'all ready for this? What kind of week has it been? Has it been a one, a two, a three, uh, a four, or a five swung vase week? Nice. That's a throwback right there. That's great. I brought it back. Drop, you, the, you drop are, the mic. You're on fire with this throwback. Just stuff. wait. Just <laughs> wait. So what kind of what kind of week have we had, guys? Let let's, us know. Let's let them answer. Use let, your emojis. Let some of them answer first. Use your emojis. They're they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the bad part is, is we only see it like this. So Jenny Penny's got a three, I think. Is that <laughs> then a we three got a or a four? <laughs> <laughs> Show Ross is a four. That's optimistic. So how about four. how about yours? How's your week been? I would call mine a five. Whoa. Get that. Laura. Yeah. Laura has had a five. <laughs> I can't wait for us to talk about it. Laura, okay. This be great. Let me just say that <laughs> y'all, if you want something, if you want it really bad, put it in the universe. Uh huh. We put something in the universe. Just put it right out there. And it, it came true. That's right. And yeah, we'll talk about that coming up but on oh, negative two sugar riches that's not good let's see jamie says i think that's two and a half oh amy had a five nice i'm gonna go four i'm gonna go four for me i had a pretty good week last week was extremely busy this week was busy but not as bad mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go four nice. four out of five Great job. Four out of five and five out of five over here. You can't do much better than that. Mm -mm. It's true. Okay. There's 118 of you here. Hi, Charlotte. Later, during the flipping and sipping late show, we're going to play a game. The code word is shamrock. <laughs> I'm only going to say it once. Oh. 
You want me to say it one more time? No. They had better have been listening. <laughs> Oh. So you might need to know that later during flipping and sipping. What is a... Don't let me forget. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Hey, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Brenda Bat. There's Melissa Black. <laughs> Everybody's manifesting something. I've been trying to manifest the ability to buy a horse. A house. I thought it horse. said a horse. A house, but instead our landlords raised our rent. Ugh. Oh, that sucks, Jamie. I'm sorry. I thought it said horse. You can buy a horse pretty cheap these days. I got notified today that I, I think, I got to go back and look, but I think my insurance is going to go up. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Like your health insurance? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Well... We're going to, we are going to get into the Fat Bird 5 here in just a few minutes, but I do want to talk about what we manifested. Last week, I think we touched on it briefly, that we had put out in the universe, I had said, I was over at Laura's, we were packing orders, and I was like, you know what we need? We need a good private pick. We need somebody to come into the store mm -hmm. and be like, hey, I've got some stuff that I need to sell. Y'all want to buy it? <laughs> It's like, we need one of those. I'll be damned. <laughs> it happened. It happened. And so Laura went on a private pick this week. This is why she's had a five out of five week. Mm -hmm. Laura went on a private pick and check out all this Fenton up here. We've got blue, we've got clear, and we've got cranberry. Up here, this is like 50, over 50 pieces of Fenton. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That's part of the pick. And she's still got stuff in her car. So Laura had a great week. So we've we've got some new merch that we're excited about. So yeah, not not fat bird merch like as in yeah yeah no shirts inventory yeah yeah inventory. We're stoked. <laughs> I don't know about that tiger. Oh, we've got a sale coming up with Amy. Yes, that's exciting. Let's yeah. talk about that for a second. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that I forgot to give you the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but I can just show it on my phone, right? Yeah, so our good friend Amy has invited us to have a sale with her. So that's going to be happening. Laura has a thumbnail. Oh, look at that. Put it up there, Laura. Closer. <laughs> Down a little. There you go. That's looking good. Thursday, March 21st, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's going to be on Amy's channel. So I've got Amy's profile pe uh, popped up there. So if you're not subscribed to Amy, take a second, go over and uh, subscribe to her channel real quick. And you can set a reminder. She's already, she wanted, she prepared for tonight by going, at, going ahead and scheduling the sale so that you can click on it and set yourself a reminder. So go ahead and do that. Yeah. And Ruthie B, I think, is a bit ender for us, at least at the beginning of the sale, she told me. So that's fun. Yes, yes. And also, I've been talking to someone just right before the show, and um, we are setting up like a regular Wednesday night vamp sale. Oh. So like from... You're doing a regular thir Wednesday night sale? Yeah. You're by yourself? 30 minutes, yeah. Like you, you're doing it. Yeah. Unless you want to do when it When did me. this happen? <laughs> right before the show. Like, I had to make some executive decisions. Like, who, I'm a part of this business. I know, but you don't like, I mean, you're, you're busy. So I, I had to take some of it on myself. I don't get consulted for anything these days. <laughs> yes, you do. It's a joke. They're going to think that that's true. It's probably true. <laughs> it's not true. She went on this big old... Hi, there's Beth. See, Vintage, she was working on that sale. That there's sale. Beth. Hello, Beth. <laughs> and there's Jenny Campbell over on Facebook. Welcome to all of you watching on Facebook. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to take the weekend to video this these things before they start selling, but maybe on Wednesday night they might start selling. Maybe. It's you never know. <laughs> Or, um, but especially Beth C is working on another sale. So I think we've, I think we've got three sales next week. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, the glass showcase is going to be next Friday. Is that right, Beth? When's that? Like in the afternoon, like while you're at work. You're doing that? Yeah. (laughs) I feel like I've just been kicked out. (laughs) No, I'm showing initiative. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Wow. Been emboldened by my latest private pick nice score congratulations way to be <laughs> i haven't been on a pick in forever beth c 1 p.m starts on friday yes remember when i used to win all the picks and now i haven't even done it in forever yeah yeah i'm gonna have to get back on uh-huh. up on the horse yep you are yeah i'll help you i don't need your help <laughs> I will say this for me. <laughs> Laura, was gonna, Laura was going to let all this fit and just, just <laughs> blow away in the wind. And I kept, I kept on her. I was like, Laura, have you talked to those people? Have you talked to those people? She's like, no. They were a tad bit indecisive. I was like, call them. <laughs> she did. So. Yeah. I like to pretend like I made that happen. <laughs> Good job, everybody. <gasps> Sugar Riches, stop. Mm-hmm. Don't tell people. What? She told. Like oh, in the chat. What? She told. Oh. Don't tell. <laughs> it's a special treat for those that were here right on time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jamie. That's funny. It's the worm. You know, the early bird gets the worm. It's, yeah. It's the worm. Everybody knows. That's not very nice. <laughs> Where's your mom? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Where's your daughter? <sighs> Angela. <laughs> Angela. I don't appreciate being called out. I would just like <laughs> for you to know that. I have been here putting these swung vases in this video. <laughs> and I don't need for you to ask me where the podcast is. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm I'm going to do better. Maybe. One day. <laughs> Anyway, you know what time it is? It's about time to start the Fat Bird Five. Already? Yeah. Wow. Almost. Originally, it was at eight fifty or nine fifteen. So I feel like I need to do it fifteen minutes in. That's true. Yeah. Because it's old school. Old school. And because we've got to do this intro all again at nine o'clock. <laughs> Sugar With bridges. Different, different uh, stuff to talk about. Sugar bridges is like I didn't know. <laughs> That's funny. Uh huh. She's just trying to be helpful. Erin, you're just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> don't, don't get ahead of me, Erin. <laughs> I won't have it. Hi, Denise. Oh, yeah. Who, who has gotten their round robin? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. I meant to look it up. Let's look it up. Let's see if anybody has done the hashtag this week. I put the hashtag also on the thumbnail for. Has anybody gotten their round robin this week? Sounds like Denise did. Oh, that's fun. Sean, is this a new permanent time? I think so for now. Um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback that people like the early bird hour. So you're not really missing anything. We will transition into flipping and sipping at 10 or excuse me, at 9 central. So it's, 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 just, just, a little extra. it's just a little extra for those people who can't make the late late show. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and redo the intro and stuff at 9 o'clock like we always do so that you don't, if you want to wait till 9 o'clock, you can. Yeah, and then like you can really pretend missed. like you haven't been here the whole time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Tiger says, uh, the person I sent it to received theirs yesterday. Nice. Cool. No, I'm so excited. I did see one person post this week, um, and it may have been Denise. I don't remember, but I liked it on Instagram. Um, I like it. I like seeing that people are getting their mail. I think that's fun. Yeah, that's really fun. How come I can't make this work? I don't know, Laura. Uh, it seems like operational error to me. It's Of course it is. Yeah. It absolutely is. We're getting a random thunderstorm and my kids are going nuts. If I disappear for a moment, that's why. Okay, you got it. We had a random thunderstorm here last night and Dixie about lost her marbles bless her heart i don't think we got any more pictures yeah i feel like that that hashtag is not great at auto populating like it's not the best oh well what can a, we do a, well a few more people probably need to use it before it 
oh. you know, before it starts doing real good. I gotcha. Yeah, Brenda, we had a crazy, like, gust of wind. That's another terrible story. <laughs> Laura was over here yesterday, <laughs> and uh, we were eating dinner, and we were watching the weather, and we knew it was about to get bad, and I was like, Laura, you should probably go home before it starts to get bad. Mm -hmm. And she was like, okay. So she left, I'm not kidding you, seconds, seconds after she left, the wind, it was awful. It was like this huge, like, microburst of wind. And I was like, oh, God. I, I just sent her out in that. I stepped, I walked out the front door and I was like, oh, this is what it feels like, the calm before the storm. It was perfectly, you know, it was just perfectly still. You know how it gets. And I was like, I better run on. I better get my butt home. <laughs> and I got in the car and shut the door and got ready to pull out. And it was like. <laughs> there was like. <laughs> there, there was like these little micro bursts. Like because there was leaves out on the road and they were like funneling up. I didn't know it was going to happen that quick. Yeah. Anyway, it didn't last long. Nope. It was about the time it took you to drive home. Yeah, it was about the dumbest thing I've ever done. I'm it's sorry. Like, it's like one one or two minutes and I could have just gone home safely. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I was I should have known better. Hi Renee. Welcome. Okay, so let's get into the Fat Bird Five. Let's do that real quick. Um, this is gonna be just like any other sale that you're used to being at. I'm not gonna get into all of it because you know how it works. <laughs> we'll get into the big rules uh, during the big sale during flipping and sipping. But this is gonna be five items uh, for the Fat Bird Five. So let's get into that right now. Anybody notice anything different? Anybody notice anything different? <laughs> and they even shine like yeah. there's like a little glow yeah. yeah i made those today that's so awesome. they're not the same spotlights i couldn't find the old ones so i made new ones they look almost the same though they're close it's fine back in the day remember when we got super chats for and pe <laughs> that people wanted to, to keep the lights yeah like they wanted us to buy the <laughs> uh, what was it, StreamYard or yeah, whatever yeah. that lets you use the extra stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're like little top hats. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> the other ones were... I kind of feel like I'm in the spotlight with them on, though. You are. It feels hot. <laughs> All right. So that's my other surprise. That's great. Yeah. I mean, that's a five out of five day right there. I'm telling you, you, you are on it. It really is. All right, kids. Nikki, I didn't know she was going to do that. You don't know everything. Apparently not. <laughs> All right, kids. Let's get into the Fat Bird 5. We've got five items for sale. And I'm just going to start with this little guy. This is a rooster. Look how cute that is. He's very cute. He's a little art glass rooster. He does have a little tag there. Made in China. Right there on the front. But he's just a little cute guy. Oh my gosh, if you have your little miniature collections, that he would be adorable. Yeah. And he's not very tall, you know. <laughs> anyway, I just thought he was really cute. And we're only going to start him at $5, Nikki, when you get a chance. Karen says, this is a nice show, Mary Beth. I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> Did I say something bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> $5, Nikki, when you're ready. Okay. Here we go. For this little rooster friend. He's real excited. He's really cute in the with the art glass. He's crowing. Look to him. Or he's cockadoodle doing. <laughs> I was trying to remember how Max does the rooster noise. I can't really I can't really replicate it. That's cute. <laughs> it's really something. <laughs> Hi LaDonna. <laughs> You're getting saucy? What did you, what did you say? I don't know. LaDonna <laughs> thinks I'm saucy. <laughs> oh. Cockadoodle do. <laughs> He's cute. I thought he was cute. I don't cute. even know where he came from. I just found him <laughs> on the shelf earlier. I was like, where did he come from? We're making room for this stuff. 
Yeah, tonight during flipping and sipping, it's going to be a let's make more room on the shelf kind of sale. So we're just going to pick a shelf and we're going to sell from it. We're not going to sell Little Frank. <laughs> Susan Davis. Oh, it's Susan Davis. Thanks, Susan Davis. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. All right, we've got a set of glasses, uranium. If you guys want to have a wild and crazy night, here's your opportunity. You know how it gets when we drink out of the uranium glasses. Yeah, and these have been uh, these have been a staple on flipping and sipping in the past. We have used these during flipping and sipping. I will say this one has a little bit of a chip right there, which is why we drank from them in the past and haven't sold them yet but there is a little bit of a chip right there so we're going to start these super low we hold the other one so one of them does have that little chip on the side but they are uranium check out that glow the glow Ooh, is they beautiful glow good and we're just going to start these at eight dollars and you're going to get the pair all right laura that sounds good to me because of the chip so they are uranium. Eight dollars start, Nikki. When you ever ready, ready? Where's the chip? It's on the side. It's right. Oh, it's there. teeny tiny. Yeah. All right, and here we go. Annette is in for ten. Hi, Hi Annette. Annette. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. What was that? It's Nikki's phone. Oh. <laughs> Got Dawn in at 12. We've got 23 seconds. I hope I don't drop this. The glow is great. Carrie. Carrie. It's okay, Carrie. <laughs> we are going to play the don't drink and draw or drive or whatever <laughs> game later where you get the three cards and you have to draw the thing. Yeah, the one everybody likes. We're going to play that later on Flippin' and Sippin' during the late, late show. This is the early bird hour. And then I got to have a chance to get a couple of drinks in me. Then there's the Flippin' and Sippin' hour and then there's the outlaw hours. <laughs> Outlaw hours. Are we the only people that, I mean, was that a local thing or was that a national thing? I know it was local, but I don't know if it was national mm -hmm. too. Did anybody else have outlaw outlaw hours on the radio? Probably oh, not. On like Friday night. Was it Friday nights? I don't remember. Did we have a net, Nikki? Uh, yes. Annette McGill. Thanks, Annette. Those are coming your way. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is like a laser light show with all that <laughs> uranium. I love it. Love it. Hey, hit the new uranium pieces with your light. There's a couple right of little ones. there. <laughs> oh, the basket's behind that piece. Yeah. It's kind of hidden. <laughs> um, so the outlaw hours were like, I don't know, they started at like 10 o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. And they played the music unedited like i recall uh specifically it was a country station yeah. and uh the devil went down to georgia they always bleeped it when he said you son of a you know <laughs> but they would play the the words oh yeah during the outlaw but it was, so country, it was yeah. stuff like that but it was like more i don't know songs that were edgier it, i guess it was like you in, know, in country music <laughs> willie nelson waylon jennings <laughs> i don't know anyway it sounds thrilling in me it really was <laughs> you had to be here it was susan it was hi wayne exactly brenda's, brenda's son wayne is visiting hey wayne Wayne, I hope that you're doing great. We're happy that you're here. <laughs> All right. Real country. Okay, I've got a set of salt and pepper. I love these guys. They're like little tigers, but they're they look like little stuffed animals. They look stitched. One is pink and one is green. And they both have their cork 
stoppers and they both have their Japan stickers. Hello, proud American. Hey, Delbert. Okay, you will hold one. <laughs> hey, Christina. Yay. Okay, Laura. What, what? What did I do? You're bumping stuff. I'm sorry. Hey, Sandra. Okay, kids, we're going to start these at, what do you think, Laura, for the set? You will pick. Um, Ten. Ten dollar start on these salt and pepper shakers. The tigers, they look like they're stitched and they both have their original stoppers and stickers. Ten dollar start. And here we go. I've got sugar britches oh, in at 12. Look how cute they are. Aren't they cute? Yeah, pink and green. Mm-hmm. I know, Carrie. <gasps> Carrie. Oh, we got to do the vases for Carrie. Oh, after, after Carrie. This. You Carrie. Really, you've really missed out. <laughs> My face is doing it again. You could put yours up here so people can see that there's two. Oh, look at that. That really looks <laughs> good. That really worked. <laughs> I've got Holly Parker in at 13. That's the bit end. We'll let Nikki call that in just a second. <laughs> no purple for Tiger. <laughs> Carrie says, I was 20 minutes late. What the crap? Mary Beth was on a roll. I really was, Carrie. Look, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, and we've got five. And we started the show with the question, what kind of week are you having? So I just want it to be known that we're really throwing it back around here. <laughs> Nikki is refreshing because we had some last second bids come in in. All right, we've got Lorianne, uh, 19. Holly, you were just a little bit late there on the draw. So thank you, Sugar Bridges. We appreciate it. That was three items, correct? It was. All right, next. Here you go. This is a pair, a set. Oh, of, I love these. I know. These are Ellie Smith. Uh, amber candlestick holders. Candlestick holders. So you could put your candles in there. And these... Go ahead. We got these from a, a pic of a fellow YouTuber. We did. Well, she's a Instagrammer. Yeah, she is. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. So uh, I'm, I misspoke. Kentucky Thrift Co. Mm -hmm. Kentucky Thrift Co. on Instagram is who we got these from. She's clean. She was cleaning out a lot of her inventory. She's kind of getting out of the game a little bit. So she was trying to downsize. Mm -hmm. So... We picked I think these she's up. thinking about moving. Yeah, I think you're right. So we picked these up off her. Um, again, Ellie Smith. Okay, these are perfect for um, lucite candles. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, there's one bubble. Here it is. This is a bubble. This is not a chip. That is an inclusive bubble there. There on the inside. I think mine has one, too. Oh, Laura's got one, too. Right there. And those are inside. Those are bubbles, which is something that happens, of course, when you're making glass things. Okay. Again, Ellie Smith, Amber. Let's start these at, I'm thinking 18. for the, And you're going to get both, of course, because it's a pair. $18 start, Nikki. Like Laura said, if you've got the gold-flecked um, lucite candles, it'll mm -hmm. look really good. Yeah, these would be great. All right, here we go. $18 start. Hey, Lenny. It's good to see you here, Lenny. There's Christy Hi, Allen. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Christy Allen. Man, 400 bucks for rent. Uh, a rent increase is bad. Oh, God, that's the increase? Well, over a year or so, she said. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, people kill me. With the prices that that people want for like real estate and stuff, mm -hmm. it's unreal. It's crazy. It's you. You guys wouldn't think so, but it's pretty high around here. Hey, John Bo. I mean, obviously it's not West Coast high, but I mean it's higher than you would think rural Kentucky would be. Right. I agree. 
You know, I mean, like, I don't know. It's crazy to me. Rent is crazy to me. I know. Oh, God. Nikki is lagging. It's okay. I don't think we had any takers on that. If you're watching this later and you're interested in the Ellie Smith candlestick holders, you can email us and let us know. I should take those home. Maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, you have a set of those yeah. lucite sticks. My you? aunt gave them to me. They were hers, so they're sentimental. Aww. And so, and I, I just haven't picked out the right candlesticks i just haven't decided well there you go you can take those home <laughs> with you all right our last item this is item number five of the fat bird five we've got four uranium sherry coasters. Jones louisville kentucky is now ranked one of the highest in the nation for increases in rent really oh look at those yeah those look fantastic right uranium coasters they are federal glass and they are marked Nettie the house next to me is renting for seventy nine ninety five. holy moly whoa hey happy old soul welcome that's crazy all right federal glass coasters let me just check them all i think they're all good hold please oh how interesting sherry she said, I live in a boarding house. Like in the old days, it's all women and it's a beautiful home in a beautiful area. This one has a sheer mark or a straw mark uh, that goes right across. These are so pretty. That's not a chip or a crack. That just happens when people are using their shears to, to handle the glass when it's still hot. Are these yellow or green? They are green. Green. For sure. You see it? Can you see it now? Green. They're, they're green. Boom. All right. You're going to get all four. And Laura, I'm going to let you. Here, let's you... put them in the spotlight. I'm just kidding. This... <laughs> Laura, I'm going to let you give the starting price. And you will get all four. All four starting for $12. $12 start. Federal. Did you say that? Federal. Mm -hmm. I said it four times. Okay. Well, that's enough. Here we go. <laughs> Who doesn't need some uranium glass coasters? <laughs> the answer is nobody. I mean, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. The way I formed the question, I'm not sure what the answer is. <laughs> but the answer is everybody needs these. Oh, so see, I'm out of date. I guess rent isn't all that high here then. Carrie says Austin, 4000 for a two-bedroom, two-bath. Oh, bath. my gosh. Austin. Oh, that's outrageous It is me. outrageous. I'm seeing Heather at 24. Heather Antique Agenda. How you doing, Miss Heather? I miss Heather. I want to hang out with Heather. I know. Heather, are you coming to Misty's pop-up shop in June? She has a long way to go. Yeah, she does. She's probably not coming. What is that sound? car alarm oh goodness goodness <laughs> i don't think so i don't think my horn sounds like that nikki i'm gonna let you tell me who that was ruthie ruthie oh she is coming <gasps> no way. Yeah. Yay. I know. I love her. You guys, let's just talk about this for a minute. Misty's pop-up in June, the very first one we are Thanks, honored Ruthie. to be a part of. The very first one. Yep. The other ones are planned in the in the makings, so there's going to be more. But we are going to be in the first one, and it's going to be so much fun. I know. I'm excited. Because it's just it just happens to coordinate with like a town-wide fourth of july kind of thing sorry excuse me and it it's gonna have fireworks and there's gonna be food trucks and it's i mean like a big to do yeah i'm excited yeah i know it's yay <laughs> now i'm really excited heather's coming okay speaking of ruthie thank you ruthie speaking of ruthie we have a sponsored mystery box tonight yes by who by Boom. ruthie 
By whom? By Ruthie. By Ruthie. Everybody say thanks, Ruthie. This is a sponsored mystery box, so you guys know what that means. It's a $25 box, actually, instead of $15. Yes, $25 box, and it's free to you. Free to you. Yes. But you have to play by our rules to be able to win. Okay? Here are the rules. Are you ready for the rules? So this is a spin to win. Here in a moment. Oh, God, I've got to get my stuff ready. Here in a moment, we will give you an item number. If you're interested in playing and trying to win the sponsored mystery box, you type the item number into the chat. You can only type it once. If you type it more than once, Carrie is going to kick you out of here. (laughs) Carrie will never speak to you again. And it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's It's bad bad. when Carrie's mad. (laughs) It's really bad. (laughs) Oh, so we I love how you make her the bad guy. (laughs) We like it when you play by the rules. So please, it's okay. They won't have much time to. Yeah, I count it down really fast. To cheat on this one. It's the early bird. It is. It's the Catalina wine mixer. I know. Hot damn. Hot damn. It's this early. It's too early to cuss. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Cuss later. This is the early show. People are people are polite here. <laughs> it's a nice show. It really is. This is a really nice show. So please play by the rules. It's the early bird hour. It's a really nice show. But honestly, please play by the rules and please only type the item number once. Then we will count the total number of people interested. We will spin a random number and then we'll pick the winner. I think we need an emoji that's an early bird with a worm. Uh, let me work on that. I can't. It, it's never enough. I've got the... I just told you that the other day. I got the vases in there. We're all having a five swung vase day. I've got these spotlights in here, but it's never enough. <laughs> it is. Oh, man. All right, here we go. I don't have my. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you want to win the sponsored mystery box, the item number is seven. Number Seven. Number seven. Okay, you threw me off. I did? Yeah. I thought you were going to give some secret code. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. The the code word is for later. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Don't talk about it. I'm sorry. Here, you find your stuff. I'm going to start counting. Okay. Oh, gosh. We got a lot of people. Okay. I don't think mine has an alarm, so I don't think it's me. Yikes. Now now Dixie's on the case. (laughs) She opened the door. Dixie's like, rough. Don't say I'm near. 49. I had 49 before the start. And I was on 50. I had 49 before the start. One of you from Facebook, so thank you for that. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Okay. Facebook people. Hi, Facebook people. I think that that's going to grow from time to time. Do you? Yeah. You think we're really going to hit it big on Facebook? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we have to go by the order that we see it on our screen. Don't yell at us. If your order is different, we don't want to hear it. <laughs> you ready? No. Done. Restart. Okay. Laura never remembers how to use this app. <laughs> They've all got it memorized. They're they're sitting there going, Jesus. <laughs> Do it. Okay. I'm building suspense. 39. Oh. You know how I am. I have to start from the top. You guys go fill up your drink. <sighs> got to take it from the top. You ready? It's I'm ready. 39? Yeah, all it's right, 39. Here, all right, here we go. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Watch. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Oh, come on. Is that right? I think it's right. Come on. (laughs) Amy. Amy is seven, your lucky number. Yay, Amy. Congratulations. (laughs) That's exciting. Congratulations. It's like karma. Because <laughs> Amy's so awesome. 
Yeah, that's fantastic. Amy does all kinds of cool things in sales and stuff. Like she, she'll buy stuff for people and send stuff to people. Yeah, and, and she does so much for us, too. Like, yeah. we're always sending her stuff. Like, hey, Amy, what's this deer? And she's like, you know. So, anyway. <laughs> Yay. That's fun. I'm going to feel a lot of pressure. I wish I had pre-made the, <laughs> the mystery box. Pre-made? I'm going to feel pressure because it goes to Amy. Oh. Like it has to be. You know. We'll have to put something cute in there. Because Amy's so cute. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at it. Wow. Yeah. I'm just saying, don't. I'm not. I'm going to do it the way I always do it. I need a refill. Gosh, we're only 40 minutes in and I need a refill. That's bad. <laughs> you guys better stay tuned. Hmm. And we're going to drink and draw later. Oh, yeah. Don't drink and Oh, draw. Lisa Day says, we're all enamored with Amy. We are. <laughs> That's true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's giving us hints. Who? <laughs> Amy. Oh. The deer is always a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can come up with. Oh, I've got I've got the perfect thing that we can send her. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Great. Ruthie, thank you so much for sponsoring the Early Bird yes. Mystery Box. Ruthie, that was so nice. Yay for Ruthie. And yay for Amy. So, here in 18 minutes, flipping and sipping officially begins. Oh, by the way, that's the end of the Fat Bird 5. So, <laughs> goodbye to the spotlights. That's over. We don't, where's that music that goes dun, 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 dun. I played it before the Fat Bird Five. We won't play it out. I think I think we did, don't we? Oh, that's nice. Did that make you feel better? Yeah. Huh? Oh, the spotlights are back. We don't, see. <laughs> we we don't need to do that. Now people are confused. <laughs> that's funny. We've got 185 of you. We got 80 thumbs ups. We can do better than that people <laughs> lisa's telling you uh, to write it down that you'll forget write what down the perfect thing so you've already forgotten the perfect thing what is it what are we talking lisa, about lisa you're so good she's already forgotten the perfect thing to send amy oh I've, yeah i've got it here <laughs> <laughs> thanks lisa <laughs> <laughs> got it thanks okay. lisa oh that was really bad <laughs> what can't get enough craft picks. it's so good <laughs> dixie sounds like a freaking tiger when she's playing <laughs> she's excited what else is happening do we want to talk about anything else? Sure. Like what? Well, you're having a get together tomorrow. No, just Jennifer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah. We can make a fire. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Is Jennifer here? Maybe we can make a fire. Jennifer got a hot tub. Ah. Maybe I don't understand hot tubs. <laughs> Have you have you ever been drinking in a hot tub? I don't think I've ever really been in a hot tub. Maybe like when I was a kid, like at a hotel mm. or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand hot tubs. Why? What's the point? Well, <laughs> to be hot and steamy. Why? Like it feels good. No, I understand. I like a hot bath. I get it. I get it. I get wanting to soak in hot water. I get it. But I don't know why I would want to do it with other people outside. <laughs> I would rather do it in the privacy of my bathroom. Like with my phone. Oh, God, our phones. Yeah. Our phones have ruined a lot of things. Yeah, they've, no. They've ruined a lot of things, a lot of social things. I get it. I get it. I get it. I just don't know why it's a social... Ex I don't know why it's a something to do with other people i don't understand like i don't want to take a bath with other people well i mean for one thing it's supposed to be sexy yeah 
But why is it outside? Well, I, mean, I don't want to be sexy outside. <laughs> why not? I don't know. It feels weird. It's like. It's too early for this. It's too early. We'll talk about this at, let's, we'll table, during the late show. Let's table that discussion. <laughs> we'll need a couple more drinks. <laughs> Aaron said it would be too hot inside. <laughs> But no, I mean, like, I get a swimming pool. I get it because it's hot outside and you want to cool off and it's fun. You float around. I get it. I get it. But I don't understand the hot part. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have a lot to say about this. Okay, later. good. Okay. okay, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Don't forget. Write it down. Let's or we'll okay. forget. Okay. All right. I've got it written down. <laughs> <laughs> thanks donna donna's with me i appreciate it yeah that's probably when it's awesome it's like when it's snowing outside i'll give you that sherry i'll give you that <laughs> who is tulip too because i like the name tulip well it's tulip too i know i see that don't ask who it is that's who it is <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lorian. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I get that, Jamie. I, I'm with you. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It feels weird. Well, I'm just saying when Jamie gets to Misty's pop up, is with Jamie us, coming? We're for finding real? a hot tub. Is Jamie coming for real? Yes. Like, we will legit. be in the hot tub. I'm not getting in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's saying. I don't want to do it. Why? Do uh, Ten people can get in the hot tub. But see, you just said that hot tubs are supposed to be sexy. But yet, you're wanting to get in the hot tub with ten people. We're supposed to talk about this. We're going to talk about this later. <laughs> Jamie's I, like, I am a blast in a hot tub. I, I've got it. I've got it written down. We can't talk about this right now. I have a story. <gasps> Catherine's coming too. Catherine, there you go. <laughs> she wants to get in the hot tub with you too, Catherine. Um, see, we can't talk about this anymore. Woo-hoo. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a cold tub. <laughs> I thought Amy was coming. Oh, no, Amy's not. Oh. Amy has a conflict. Bummer. Yeah. Well, that makes me sad. She said, didn't you see your set? She said she wished she could be two places at one time. Yeah. Dang. I wonder if Katie Vintage and Vinyl is coming. Hmm. She's always in for a road trip. Probably. She's a traveler, man. She is, man. Her and, yeah. Amy's going to be in Elkhorn that weekend. Ah, gotcha. I think Elkhorn's a big deal. Is it? It's a big flea market. Oh. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Maybe we should go to Elkhorn one, one time. Elkhorn. 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 I like to say that. You guys, we have started watching Grey's Anatomy again from the beginning because <laughs> did you, last night was the season premiere. Don't, no spoilers, please. Last oh, night, did it? Yeah. Yeah. And so, you guys, I have trauma. I have residual trauma coming back to me from watching it the first time through in whenever it came out in 2002 or something. I saw a promo that Arizona was going to be back. And I was like, oh, because I haven't watched it since COVID. That's about when I stopped watching it. We've seen it twice. Just (laughs) Oh, I've seen I have seen probably seasons one through five a lot. Yeah. Because like, especially during COVID, Mm -hmm. like when I was working at home, I just Mm -hmm. had it on, on a, on a repeat because I feel like that's a show that can just be on and you never, it's like, it's soothing like the background. Well, yeah, but nothing's really going on too much that you can't catch yourself up, you know? Plus you are, you already know what happened. So like, if you were to miss something important, it only takes like a minute to catch back up. We just watched that episode the other day. (sighs) <sighs> I cried I can't, a little. I can't deal with it. That Wh- one's that which one's one? The, George. Oh, the one with George. There's reaction videos on TikTok that you need to find mm. for that. For that. But the one we just watched was really traumatic. The shooting. Yes. Yeah. That's really traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But anyway, so so anyway, I saw that Arizona was going to make an appearance in this newest season. So I was like, I should probably just catch up. So I've been attempting to, but I started from the beginning. But so of course it's going to take months. It's, your, it's such your personality. Oh, I like have to start from the, the beginning. You've seen the first five seasons over and over again. So I don't know why you thought you had to. I mean, why didn't you just go to the first one you couldn't remember? I, I can't do that. I have to start from the beginning. <laughs> It's a very good place to start. It's so great. I really like that about you because I'm not like that. So now then I can... So you would have started at like five? Yeah. You would have started in the middle? I've done it. Okay, already. let me ask you this. I've already started in the middle and given it up. Let me ask you this. <laughs> if you had began a book and you got to like chapter five and then you put it down and it was like a few months and you hadn't picked it up. When you picked it back up, would you start at chapter five or would you start back at the beginning? Chapter five. I would start at the beginning. <laughs> so I'll be like, surely I missed something. I can't just, I can't just pick something up in the middle. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you. When you go watch, I mean, when you turn on like, say you watched Flippin' and Sippin'. You had Flippin' and Sippin' on, which is a two hour YouTube video. Yeah. Don't you love the fact that you can like wherever you stop like if you want to go to bed or get sleepy or whatever you just turn the tv off and when you come back it just starts right where you were would you rewind it and start it from the beginning i can't stop something in the middle you you wouldn't just leave that and then come back and start up at the same point the next time yeah i don't know maybe (laughs) okay i'll give you an example i'll give you an example melinda wants to know who arizona is Arizona Robbins, Dr. Robbins. She's a pediatric surgeon. It was actually a really a, kind of a pioneer kind of relationship for drama network TV. I don't know. I, I don't think they were the first lesbian couple on TV, but they were the longest, like they had the longest relationship, I think, in primetime television. I think that was a record at one point. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so I liked her on the show, and she was she she's been gone for a long time, but she's back. So here's an example. Here's something. Okay. Remember the other night when we came home from the movies and we started Batman? Yeah. And we stopped before it was over because we were exhausted. Yeah. We stopped the movie. I have not finished it. Oh, you haven't? No. If you go back, are you going to start it from the beginning? Probably. No, but in all re- in all honesty, I'm probably not going to finish it at all. Oh. Because I don't want to watch just the last 20 minutes. And you don't want to go back to the beginning and watch yeah. the whole thing. So both just, of those options. not going to do it. Exactly. Both of those <laughs> options are very unappealing for well, me. Well, a lot of times that's what happens to me too, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. But I would watch it from the point that I stopped it at. Here's another example. Okay. There are a couple of shows that I have not finished. Jamie's agreeing with you. Yeah. I have not finished Bates Motel. I only lack like two or three episodes. Oh, that, don't bring that up. That makes me mad every wait. time. Wait, just wait. Wait, no, gotta, I have to continue this. Just hold, oh, wait, I hold, won't. Okay, hold your no, thought. No, I won't. I, I I've got to help Carlene. I've got to help Carlene. Somebody in the chat, Somebody please. Somebody let Carlene. Let Carlene know that she's behind. Yeah, she's Because behind. it doesn't do us any good to say it. You have to tell her on the <laughs> in the chat. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Do you not remember? No. Oh. Shoot. No, there's two shows. Bates Motel. Oh, I have yeah, like yeah, but that's it. Two or three that's episodes it, left. It. Yeah. I did the same thing with Lost. I only have like two or three episodes left and in Lost. And that's like a cliffhanger kind of situation. I know. Both of them. But when I was doing it. I have seen the beginning of Lost like probably five times. I've started that's it. That's because you started over again at the beginning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but now then, it's been years since I had that journey with Lost. I can't just watch the last three because I don't remember everything. I have to start it over. We need to watch Bates Motel again. I would have to start it over completely. I would have to completely begin it over. I just can't believe we invested all that time and you never finished it. One day. That was one of, well, why, why did that happen? It was a stroke. I don't know, but why do you face me in this chair and hit me with your knees? Why don't you face forward like a normal person? <laughs> Are you for real? Are you for real? Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
this is what normal people do. Normal people don't talk like this to each other. Like me just looking at you. Oh, you camera. like to face me. Yes. Well, oh. why not? Well, I don't know. I always face forward. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better stay for later. I mean, this is going to be good. Sorry. You can sit however you want. No, forget it. <laughs> Why do you even want to sweat? Forget about it's it. It's hot in here. Are you hot? Yeah. <laughs> I am, as a matter of fact. I have a t-shirt on under this just in case it gets ridiculously hot. I don't mean to be fields of summer. I'm. Just, I, it just happens sometimes. <laughs> no, Joy not liking this. I'll, I'll straighten up Joy. I promise. Mom was trying to be quiet. <laughs> What's 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 vintage MMA? Where where do you see Madonna. that? Madonna. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, mixed martial arts. Cage fighting. Oh oh! Don't bother with loss, Mary Beth. Best show <laughs> ever. Worst ending ever. Oh, better to wonder. So you've you you could finish it yourself better. That's good advice. Okay, that's good to know. Now, you know me, and now I can't even remember what happens at the end of Bates Motel. It is a pretty good show. But don't, gi- don't, give, a spo- don't give any spoilers, people. Lost I'm going to make like, you watch it. Lost is like, like what is, what's happening? What is this? It's really good. You never really watched it, did Mm-mm. you? No, I didn't see that one. It's almost time for the next intro. It's almost time for the next segment of the, of the show. <laughs> oh, boy. I apologize. <laughs> You can you can sit this way. Okay, I will in a minute. Okay, will you accept my apology here <laughs> of course. in front of all of our friends? <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers to that. No, Ruthie, but I really want to watch it. I haven't begun it yet. That's what we need to watch. Yeah. Next. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, what else I want to watch? But I don't know when it's going to happen. Is season two of Severance? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Severance. It's on Apple TV. Mm. So good. We also need to watch. Um, what's the business drama show that's kind of like Dallas used to be? Succession. When you say Severance, it always makes me Dallas. think of Succession. <laughs> I dated a guy very briefly who forced me to start watching Lost. Then he was kicked out of my life and <laughs> still stuck watching that damn show because I had to see how it ended. Sorry, Jamie. That sounds... Oh, look. My mom said you were classy. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. It means a lot to me when Joy is happy. I know. I know. It's true. Yeah. Mad Men. J- uh, Angela, <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> that was a podcast poke. Yes. She had to get that jab in. She had to. Yeah. She likes it. She likes your podcast. Laura wanted me to start watching that show, and I never did. Six Feet Under. Oh, it's a great show. It's a great show. I have not seen Taboo. You know what I'm re-watching right now? Like, my late night show that I watch about, like, 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Hmm. Parenthood. I'm re-watching that. Hmm. What reminded me, the guy in Parenthood, the oldest brother in Parenthood, was in Six Feet Under. So, oh, yeah. Okay. But, you know, um, Six Feet Under has the lady that you like. Uh, never mind. I might be wrong about Michelle that. Michelle Pfeiffer? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not everything has Michelle Pfeiffer, Mary Beth. That's a shame. <laughs> oh... All right. Oh, X Files. Yeah, that's a good one. Guys, guess what time? You guys it is. would love that too. It's nine o'clock. X Files. Everybody, this is the point where you go refresh your drink, go to the restroom, go get yourself a snack because it's time for flipping and sipping.
Hey, everybody. Pepper Pie's here. I'm Mary Beth. <laughs> and I'm Laura. And welcome to all of everybody. Hi, everybody. It's flipping and Sipping. You guys have all been it's here. It's past the early time, and it's time for the It's the real deal. rest of the show. It's the real deal now. <laughs> you're all here. Hopefully, you've refreshed your drink, and you're here for the show. And Melinda says it's a good time to refresh your feed, too, which is true. Good point, Melinda. <laughs> Very good. I just got here. What's been going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sherry. Hey, Christy Allen. I don't think I said hi to you earlier. And I don't know if I said hi to Pammy Whammy. Hi, Pammy. <laughs> All right. That was fun. What gets really good at season four? What? Which show is Amy talking about? Don't know. We're talking about shows that we like to binge watch. Mm. Oh, Aaron. All right, guys. What's everybody drinking? Oh, there's a throwback. Throwback. Laura, what are you drinking? It's Chardonnay. Chardonnay. We are drinking Chardonnay. It is not a Chardonnay blend. (laughs) I'm so sorry about last week. No, it wasn't last week. It was a few weeks ago. Uh, It it was a week before last? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I got the... Yeah, it was a week before last. Yeah, it was a few. Um, Laura came in here with some weird Chardonnay blend. <laughs> oh my gosh. not good. Oh, crown and diet. Holly, a girl after Water. my own heart. We've got, uh, a highball, which sounds like it should be alcoholic, but it's caffeinated, unsweetened, sparkling water. I don't like that. <laughs> water. <laughs> water. Um, water. Everybody's so healthy. Peach tea, crown and diet. Crown and diet. See, that is diet, so good. Diet ginger ale, martini you, with a twist. And Holly, would you not agree that the, well, you might not agree. I drink the diet. I don't really like diet Coke, but it's so much better with the whiskey than a regular Coke is. Interesting. And I'm a regular Coke kind of girl. It's just, just a difference in the mixed drink. It's so okay. good. It's so much better. Helen, you've got to drink something. <laughs> You should at least go make yourself a glass of water. Hydrate, Helen. <laughs> Diet Coke. Oh, Deb. Deb <laughs> knows the way to my heart. It's a pear character stretching his arm forward, raising his thumb up. That's me. I feel like I'm kind of pear shaped. <laughs> Except probably oh, I'm more you, like apple shaped. Uh, you're a character, that's for sure. Pear character. Deb. Thank you for the super chat. Man, Nettie said a martini with a twist. I feel like that's fancy. That is fancy. Ginger ale, lemonade, Jack Daniels honey, Mm -hmm. and I don't know what that word that is. I don't know how you say it. coconut? But that's those... That's those buy those drinks, you know, that you can get. Well, I, you see them in the Minute Marts a lot. Ruthie wants you to pour her a drink. I told her later on what we're having. Okay. Crown grape juice. Oh, I haven't had grape juice in years. I used to love grape juice. Really? Yeah. Nanny, you know how. Grape soda? Or no. Gra- oh. Like the, the, you know how. Like Welch's. Like in, in Mad Men, they make the freezer stuff and then they stir it up in the pitcher. Nanny made it with, with the grape kind. Yeah, that's, <sighs> that's good. I loved it. <laughs> that's good. Iced tea. I wish it was Captain and Coke. Spicy water. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of carbonated beverage, like carbonated water. Like Nikki and Laura drink frescas. Well, that's that's got more taste than the carbonated water. Yeah, I'm just not. I don't a like fan. carbonated water, but I like uh, my favorite lately that I think you would like is those Alani's. They're like they like, taste like an icy. Mm. I do like an icy. <laughs> Barks root beer, but you didn't like my diet Sunkist, so and I thought you would like that Pinot Grigio. Oh, Helen's already... She's hydrated. Okay. We'll forgive you, <laughs> Helen. Oh, maybe that needs to be an emoji. Maybe I need a pear character drinking a martini. Oh, nice. 
That'd be great. Grab yourself a drink and get in the hot tub. I wonder if I put vodka vodka into my spicy water, if that would liven it up. <laughs> it absolutely would. Well, at least today I turned it off. I turned that setting off. So that's why that didn't happen. That was really bad. Moscow Mule. That's very fancy. That's gin, right? Is that gin? Moscow Mule? Vodka? Vodka. What is a mule with gin? Isn't that a thing? A gin mule. Um. <laughs> Rum and 7 Up with a twist. Yeah, frozen con- concentrate. Oh, for real. For sure. Slushy is what we call the ice drinks mushed up. Yes. Tonic water. Yes, I turned off that feature. <laughs> Coke Zero. Aren't Fresca diet? I think so. I don't think they have any calories. Correct. Hmm. I have I have a like when I drink a carbonated drink, mm-hmm. here's something interesting about me. Hmm. Carbonated drink, like Coke or Mountain Dew or whatever, the caffeine I don't I don't really feel an effect of caffeine when I drink those. Yeah, me too. But if I drink a lot of tea, I'm just like I'm the same way. So jittery. I don't know why. I, th- I feel like that's weird. I'm exactly the same way. Vodka and caffeine might not be. Smart. I don't even get a headache if I when I quit drinking Coke. You know what I mean, like. Oh, I do. If I go off caffeine, I'm toast. I'm in bad shape for a week. Like, I I just have headaches every day. All right. What else is happening? We got to talk about something different. Maybe we should talk about the hot tub. (laughs) No, it's not late enough yet. Oh. (laughs) Let's talk a little bit more about your... uh, your stuff, your haul. Okay, okay. Why All don't right. you talk about uh, how that went? So let's start from the top about how um, you had gone to their house before and looked at some stuff and maybe you couldn't agree on a price or whatever. Yeah. And then you hadn't heard from them in a while. I think it's always difficult. I think the, the hardest part about these private picks is that they can't, the people can't help it, but they don't have any idea what they want for the stuff. Yeah. And... I don't have any idea about what they they want for this stuff. Well, it's a hard position to be in because everybody has access to eBay. And you can go on to eBay and see, oh my gosh, they've listed these tiger salt and pepper shakers right. for $100. Right. They're worth $100. Well, not always, right? Unless you're a, unless you're a reseller, you don't really think about the sold, hitting the sold filter. Right, right. Most people do not do that. So, great tip. You know, make sure that when you're searching for something on eBay that you filter by the solds so that you can see what things are actually selling for Mm -hmm. and not what people are listing them for. So that's what you're up against these days. Used to, I mean, it didn't really matter. I mean, used to it was a lot easier, right? But now then you have to kind of educate your people Mm -hmm. nicely. Nicely. You just, and I just do it like, you know, I just... Do it non-confrontationally, of course, because they, they don't know. But I'm just like, you know, you can look up your eBay prices, but number one, you know, those aren't the sold prices. Number two, it tells you nothing about the fees that you have to pay when the, when it does sell. Number three, it doesn't say anything about the shipping costs like bubble wrap and boxes and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, it kind of goes on and on. I mean, there's four or five different Things you have to consider in the price. Yeah. So to recap that, you know, if if you've got a collection of whatever and you're just a person and not in the reselling world, you know, it's easy to think, oh, man, I could get $20 a piece for this stuff. Yeah, you could. But you're going to have to invest in a lot, too, Mm -hmm. to get that off the ground. Right. Or you could sell it all to me. And not have to worry about the bubble wrap and the boxes and the shipping and the headaches and the breakage. Just sell it to me. <laughs> that's what we have to do. You know, that's, right. and then that's just like a, that's just a business model kind of thing. But you have to remind people because they don't think about it. They, they just don't think about it. 
Nikki, you wish you were just a person. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. And know what you're buying. A res- reseller here got taken for $1,200 on re- uh, reproduction transformers. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Yeah, that's bad. I could get taken very easily, I feel like. Yeah, I think you could. <laughs> I feel like I have to be really careful. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, You're pretty good. If I stay with things I'm familiar with, but I mean, like at Transformers, I could get taken very easily. Oh, for sure. Like if you, yeah, if you step into the realm of things that you're not familiar with, mm-hmm. absolutely do your research for sure. Now that I feel like I'm comfortable with the stuff that we do. You know? Okay. So tell us about like your day. It was This was yesterday, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. yeah, tell, yeah. Us, tell us exactly how your day went. Okay, so uh, we had gone back and forth a little bit. They went out of town. Just one second. We've yeah. got 322 oh, people yeah. here. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you so much. We'd welcome, love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love it if you hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. And um, this is our haul <laughs> that we're talking about right here. Well, this is just only part of it, actually. I only cleaned off two shelves. So I just been, I went out once, Mary Beth as you know, and took some pictures and made a list of things. They didn't really know what they wanted to do. They didn't know what they hadn't decided what they wanted to keep yet and that kind of thing. So that's been what, a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I was like, okay, you think about it. Like I'm interested in this whole table of hobnail for one thing. Mm -hmm. And I sort of gave them an idea of what we were interested in. Right. And, um, they're like, okay, all right, that sounds good. So waited and waited I had showed Mary Beth some pictures and she's like, oh my God, are you going to ask them about that stuff? And I'm like, yes. So I texted them to kind of check in and they were going to go out of town. She said, but we'll think about it while we're gone and um, let you know when we get back. So they got back a few days and I'm sure they weren't thinking about me like I was thinking about that stuff Mm -hmm. that was not on their radar. Right. So I was just like, um... Well, <laughs> Mary was like, have you heard from him? I'm like, no. And then I was like, oh, I'm just going to text him again. You just kind of, you have to be nice, but you have to be a little bit bold. Right. Because they're, they're not thinking about it like you are. Right. So I was like, mm, okay, I'm just going to do it. So I did it. I texted and I said, hey, you know what? I have this much money to spend and I need to buy Inventory. I've got two or three spring sales. One of them on Enamor Amy's channel on Thursday. The vamps I got vamp sales coming up. I got we've just got sales coming up. And I need to buy, I need to spend this much money. You know, are you interested? Mm-hmm. And they're like, sure, when can you come? <laughs> and I was like, Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> yep. So I went yesterday and I started Um, it just went really great. I just thought that they didn't really know what they wanted and they, they kind of didn't, but they were super easy to work with. So, you know, I just would throw out a number. I would say, okay, I'm interested in like everything on this table. And he would say, okay. And I would say, how about this much money? And he would be like, okay. (laughs) That's great. And then, but I had told him I had a budget. You know, like this much to this much to spend. And so uh, after I threw out a couple of numbers for the at the first, they just said, well, hey, I, you know, you've got this top amount of money to spend. Why don't you just take take what you want for that? And I was like, OK, <laughs> OK. So it went really great. Good. Good job. Yeah. And they were very nice and it was really fun. That's great. And we got. We, among other things that Laura picked up, we've got this whole row here of blue hobnail. We've got a couple pieces of uranium right here. This top shelf is full of cranberry and white. Uh, I'm going to show them the one that you really like. All Fenton. All beautiful. Only a couple pieces of damage in the whole stuff. Because you guys know that when you pick up collections, like we picked up this whole collection of uranium. You know, a lot of it was damaged. And minimal damage on any of this stuff so we're super thrilled about that but look at this striped handle on this picture look how great isn't that beautiful 
And there's just lots of little pieces like, like these. Just show them for an example. Look at this little toothpick holder. Yeah, just lots of little things. Isn't that cute? Look, it's like a little three-footed guy. So sweet. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, uh, make sure you uh, bookmark Amy's sale because we will have some stuff available in Amy's sale. We're not prepared to sell it yet tonight because make a video. we still want to make a video about um, our haul. So we're not prepared to sell any of it tonight, but we will. And we will have some of it um, during Amy's sale next let me, week. Let me just show the thumbnail for that. How about that? Why don't you show the thumbnail? I'm going to do it. Um, here we go. Yes, yes. Put it closer. Down a little. Nice. All right. Thursday, May 21st, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's on Enamor, Amy's channel. The show is... Here she is right here. I'm going to bring her up on the screen. The show is up and you can uh, Book- set a reminder and bookmark. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed to Amy, we would love it if you went over and did that right now. That way you'll and be subscribed and you can hit the notification bell. No matter what, there, there will be a few pieces of, the, of this. Yes. Yes. It's so springy, right? Thank I'm just you. very excited. Thank you, Angela. I'm very excited. We're putting that link to the sale into. Where? I know you've been wanting a tumble up, haven't you? What is that? It's the little water bottles that the glass fits over the top like a lid. Mm. But I have a uranium one of those. I sort of said we have a uranium one. I think with but but no cup. No cup. No, I don't think there's a tumble up. In this stuff. There's not one. Oh, like this. She Maybe she meant this one. Yeah, that's a big picture. Yeah, it's a. That's a great big picture. In case somebody else doesn't know what a tumble up is, this is one. But it has a cup that fits exactly over the top. This is a tumble up and it would have a, a glass. It go, this is not it, but it would go like this. Like a lid. Right. And that way your cup doesn't get dusty, you know, and your water doesn't. Right. It's covered up and then you can, you know, just pour it. But we don't have, we don't have the cup for it. But isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. Good job, Laura. Yay. Well done. And there's lots of cool surprises. There's like more than, more than this. Um, We, we got big aperns and we got like some just random like there's a blue art glass bird and um a lot of random things too that that are fun oh some more uranium yeah yay very cool yeah so here in a few minutes we're going to get started with tonight's sale and this sale is going to be a little bit different than some a lot of it is just going to be five dollar starts and we're going to just pick a shelf or two and start clearing off the shelf we're just going to grab stuff off the shelf and clear it because we've got to make room for our new stuff mm-hmm. so we're just going to give you guys some low starting prices and just pick a shelf and go for it yep so that'll be fun by the way this pick goes in my column it does <laughs> it does totally <laughs> it might go in joy's column because they contacted joy oh, first you're going to pull that one on me aren't you mm-hmm. mom's going to take credit for this one i'll give it to you okay you can have it. Mom will probably give it to me. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> all right. All right. I got mom three things too she loves. Yeah. Yeah. She's going back, I think. Yeah. Okay. We didn't. We countered. I did counter. We counter offered and they did not take the counter. Shh, don't tell mom. Don't tell Joy. Sorry, Joy. We're we're holding out. We're holding out. I mean, we're holding out basically because really if if we take five hundred dollars, I'd rather somebody get it at Misty's pop up sale for five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, I would too. You know? I would too. And then we don't have to pay the the fees and somebody that we know gets a good deal. Me too. I agree. So I think, oh, that, I think that should be our Angela. deadline. I think that should be our deadline. What? If nobody's bought it by the time to go to Misty's, mm-hmm. we should take it to Misty's and take $500 for it. Yeah. 
Or then we can put it on eBay for whatever. Yeah. Agree. <laughs> okay, so Dear Angela's Vintage has gifted five Fat Bird memberships. Angela. We've got Lynn Tankersley. We have Justin Perlet or Perlet. Jackie Huedes or Juedes. Uh, Tina. Yay, Tina. And, Hi, Tina. And Kelly Martin. So welcome, everybody, to the flock. Welcome, everybody, and thank you, Angela. That's right, Lenny. It's so nice. Very nice. <laughs> Jamie, you'll talk. be selling it to me for $500 then. All right, Jamie. All right. Bring it. <laughs> Have you created an Angela emoji? Not yet, Jennifer. Yeah, see, I bet I bet Jamie can make money on that at $500 out In there. In California? Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. When, when, if she doesn't have to pay shipping and all that business. Yeah, for sure. That's very true. I was saying she needs to keep her 500 for rent. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. All right, guys. I'm very excited that you're all here. Thank you all. 250 of you are in the house right now. We would love it if you smash that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. We're really appreciative that you're all here. Perlet. I think that we've even had this conversation yes, before. Yes, we have. Perlet. I, we can't remember it, Mary I'm Beth. sorry. I have a terrible memory. Per like a kitten. Per like a kitten? Yeah. Don't say that. that. Well, I don't want to hear that. It's too early. It's too early for that. Don't... <laughs> So, okay, I'm, I'm off of it. <laughs> Sorry, Justin, or whoever. It's said Marie. That. <laughs> Marie. Justin. Isn't it Marie and Justin? It's Marie. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's it's Justin, too. You're oh, right. Oh, thank God. You're right. <laughs> I thought I had really made that up. Marie's laughing at you. Man, every time. I mean, some just pops out of the back of my brain that I can remember like that. It's such a blessing. <laughs> now I forgot what I was going to say. Of course you it's did. It's okay. Well, it, it'll come back to me it's later. It's fine. At least I wrote down what I was going to get Amy. <laughs> so thank God I wrote that down. Oh, let's, let's, we've, we've asked about what you're drinking. Let's ask what kind of week that everybody's had. Y'all. The early birds have already told us. So if you're an early bird, you don't have to answer again. But if you're not an early bird. You need to answer. Have you had a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five swung vase, swung vase week? That is old school. That's I've the had, first year of flipping and sipping. I'm Maybe saying, the first episode. I'm saying a four. Laura's saying a five. Yeah, I had a five. So we want to know what sort of week you've had. One, two, three, four, or five. <laughs> we need to know. And also... Also, if you want to win a free gift, I'm going to spin to win the first five people who give me the code word. Right now. Right now. The code word was in, er- was in the early bird hour. The first five people who give me the code word, we're going to spin to win <laughs> from the first five. A prize. Yeah. This is exciting. <laughs> Did, it, did anybody put it in there? Yeah, they did. Oh. Okay. The first five people are Jamie. How did... Th- hold on. What? Wait, how did Carrie get it? She missed the first 20 minutes. I don't know. She's probably a <laughs> cheater. Somebody texted her. Somebody texted you know, Carrie. You know they did. Okay. The first five people are Jamie, Angela, Holly, Tiger, and Dawn. Oh. Okay. So I want you to spin, a, spin to win a one through five. Okay. And we're gonna pick, oh, and I'm okay. gonna send. I'm gonna send one of them a, a a gift. Okay. So it's Jamie, it's Angela, Holly, Tiger, and Dawn in that order. One, two, three, four, five, and Laura is gonna spin to win. Maybe. Maybe she can never find the app. Uh, don't tell. Don't say it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I bet that didn't work before. <laughs> okay. Because I didn't do it. Recently. Oh, look at this big spin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. And it is number four. Number four. And number four is one, 
two, three, four. Number four is Tiger. Tiger. We're going to send Tiger a gift. Thanks, Tiger. Thanks, everybody. That was fun. Yay. That was fun. Awesome. We're going to send a gift to Tiger. Fun. Th- will you write that down? Yeah. Yeah. I better do that. Otherwise, I'll, I'll free it. Man, we have really had like up and down numbers. Yeah, we had like. Weird is happening. I'm watching it. Yeah, you are too. It's we had 320 earlier. And, it by like and now we're down to 160. It's so weird. It's gone back up a little. Yeah, it's really strange. How is that happening? I don't know. It's really strange. 160. I don't know. I think it's a glitch. I think Facebook or um, YouTube is bumping people. Or- you think it's a glitch? Yeah. I don't know. Good job, Tiger. Anyway, we're all glad that you guys are here. All right. So, shall we get begin? So, we begin like with our sale portion? Um, yes. I'm going to do all $5 starts, guys. All $5 starts tonight. And I'm going to pick from these t- these two shelves behind Laura's head. We have to make room for one more shelf of goodies. Yeah. New goodies. Yeah. So I'm going to take stuff from these two <laughs> shelves and we are going to start them on $5 starts. How does that sound? Less now you scared someone. <laughs> That's oh probably Oh my gosh. True. That's crazy. Right. Well, maybe it'll just be wild. Maybe it'll like swing way up. I don't think we've ever had 400 people. Maybe we could get 400 people. Wouldn't that be something? Maybe it's just going crazy. That would really be something. I'm just going to grab some stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Laura's got the first item. It's a teacup and saucer. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a sauce cup. Though. Oh, it's cute! Like, it's like a little condiment bowl. Oh, it doesn't have a handle, does it? Correct. <gasps> cute! I didn't cute? even realize that. That is cute. It's Haviland, Limoges, France. Limoges. <laughs> Cleveland Hardware Company, Jackson, Mississippi. So cute. that's that's some fine markings there. Is it? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's got this little cute pattern on the inside. That's just a sticker that will come out. Lower your face. And here's this part. Five dollar start, Nikki. Okay. That's so cute. All right, five dollar start, Nikki. When you're ready. It's the bowl and the underplate for one money. Bowl and underplate. Five dollar start. And here we go. That's when you serve fancy feast. Then. Fancy feast. A finger cup, maybe. It might What's a be. Finger cup. Like you would, like, don't you, like, wash your fingertips if you have eaten something that... I don't know. You've had to eat with your hands, maybe? I'm, I don't know. I have no idea. A fingertip bowl is what they say. Don't say finger cup. <laughs> finger cup sounds a lot worse, doesn't it? <laughs> a fingertip bowl might be the... I don't want to hear finger cup again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A berry bowl? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? Probably nothing. (laughs) Probably nothing. I see some bids coming in. Nikki's going to call it here in a moment. Yeah, we got to make some room up there. Laura. I know. What? It's a big lag. It's a big lag. Big lags, Nikki says. We're doing good on those thumbs chicken, ups. Ginger, chicken finger bowl. <laughs> We're doing real good on those thumbs ups. Y'all are really doing it. I've got Dawn DeGiulio as well. Dawn DeGiulio. Carrie, how's your week? How have you been this week? We love you, Carrie. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah. As everyone. So glad to see everyone. Yeah. You're going to make everybody else feel bad. Yeah. I'm not. Nut bowl. Maybe. <laughs> I love a good nut bowl. Of course you do. Yeah. Remember when Nettie or someone sent you, I'm going to say the wrong name, when someone sent you that big nut bowl with I still have, with three bags of nuts? I still have the bowl. I know. Dixie ate some of those nuts. I know. Oh, God. The cashews. The cashews. Dixie got into that 
bag of cashews. They were so good. They were coconut cashews. Oh, she couldn't resist. I remember that now. Yeah. Oh, my poor they're, chubby dog. They were so good. <laughs> Dawn says, don't say netball. Dawn to Julio, it's nice to see you. Write it down. What? You didn't write it down, Dawn to Julio. Oh, did she win that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Laura's, like, not even okay. paying attention. You are both too drunk already. I am not drunk. Don't say that. My mom's Don't say here. drunk. It's too early. <laughs> okay. Next, we have okay. these two kittens. And this one... Is like reaching out its paw to like <laughs> smack the other one in the face, is what it looks like to me. They're playing with each other. It's art mark. I think those are cute. I think those are super cute. Come on, camera, you can do it. Art mark Japan with the sticker. And they're just fighting each other, and it's cute. $5 start, Nikki, whenever you're ready. Five dollar start, and here we go. Lower your face. <laughs> they want to see your nut bowl. <laughs> I'll have to find it. It's back here somewhere. Yeah, I moved it today when I oh, was you did? rearranging shelves, so it's back there. Don't move stuff. You can find it. It's good. Oh, look, they're so cute. I want to go to the boat. Nope. You've made a deal with yourself. I did. I made a deal with myself. I said that I had to go to the gym and be good for 12 trips before I could go to the boat. <laughs> and I've done six. We're stuck on six. <laughs> I, have, I have six to go before I can go to the boat. <laughs> I was like, I really have to motivate myself. I was like, what do I really like to do? I was like, well, I really like to eat. And I really like <laughs> to do other things. But... The boat, it's like, it's like you have to drive there and you have to make a conscious decision to go there. And it's like not good to go. It's like, I probably shouldn't be doing that mm -hmm. anyway. So it's a reward for right. going to the gym. Right. But I've got to go six more times before I can go to the boat. That's right. <laughs> Nikki, can, did you have Dawn to Julio? Yeah. Can we go multiple times in one night? <laughs> yeah, to the gym. To the gym. <laughs> will that count? Sure. I don't think that will count. Yeah, I think it should. <laughs> You've never said how long we have to stay at the gym. That's true. We could just like go to the parking lot and leave <laughs> six more times. Oh, Sherry, that's a good point. <laughs> what did Sherry say? She said you stopped in the middle. Now you got to start over again at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got Don DeGiulio at five dollars. Thanks, okay. Don. That's coming to you. All right, next I've got a Christmas. I know it's not Christmas, but that's okay. I've got a little Santa and Mrs. Claus. In the vintage world, it's Christmas all year round. It really is. So Santa and Mrs. Claus. So here's Santa. He's got his little bag of goodies, and he's holding up a candy cane. Oh, you gave them to me. I was like, did you give me the kittens? And there's Mrs. Claus. I think he's she's like ringing a bell or something. They're cute. Yeah, and they both have Japan stickers on the bottom. And they're not salt and pepper, are they? No, they're not. They're not salt and pepper. They're just figurines. And they both have their Japan stickers. So, Nikki, let's start them at five. Five dollar start, and you're going to get the pair. Five dollar start, you're going to get the pair. They are salt and pepper size. Correct. <sighs> That is correct. And they've got sweet little gold paint embellishments as well. I think those are really cute. Yeah. It's okay that it's not Christmas time. <laughs> Hi, booed. Kitty, kitty. 10 seconds. Oh, Boot's going to join us. Hi, Boot. He didn't like that I um just petted him. Yeah, he doesn't like that. He 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 was not into that. No. Oh. Yeah, I think the lag is real tonight, guys. For sure. Hi, Boot. Hi, buddy. 
if something comes up that you really want, I would suggest bidding right away. I know it's fun to kind of wait for the timer to run out, but probably it's run out by the time <laughs> you see. You know what I mean? We have Lovey and Rose. On Rose. Thank you so much. Lovey on Rose. All right, Laura, this probably needs to go in your in your Goodwill. Okay, I'm going to put this in Laura's Goodwill container unless anybody's just really interested. This Isn't that is, cute? This is a deer with a shell in the back, but the shell is broken. The shell back here is broken. So unless anybody just... Um, you, any crafter is, out there wants to bid $5 on it. Yeah, unless anybody's just really interested for $5, we're going to put this in the Goodwill box. <laughs> Laura, does this have cups with it or is it just the pitcher? Um, that one's just the pitcher. Okay. We do have a $5. Yeah, so cute. It, he really is. On that deer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Miss Angela. Let's go ahead and run it. Nikki, I'm just going to go ahead and start it. Okay. I've got Angela at $5. Let me see if I can show that crack a little bit better. Probably from the back. You could, it's cracked all the way. Somebody fixed it once, I think. Yeah, so this shell back here, you can see right oh, across he here, is, <laughs> is broken. It's got some little stones here in front and the little deer in, in the front here as well. But that shell is just demolished. But I do have Angela at five and we've got 12 seconds left. He's break, very cute. Helen said, break the rest of it off. <laughs> yeah. You could probably and file it off. Yeah, true. I mean, the deer, the deer is adorable. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you hold that. It's going to be a, bit, a minute because I just refreshed and I'm still 20 seconds behind. Okay. Yeah, Nikki says the lag is real, so just stay with us a minute. <laughs> Hang in there, folks. Hang in there. We're really appreciative that all you guys are hanging out with us tonight. Thank you so much. While we're waiting, I will let you know that... How many people are in here now? Got about 195. That's so weird that it jumped... I mean, surely we didn't lose all that many people at I don't know time. what happened. I think you're getting booted. All right, Angela, we got you at $5. Thank you so much on that piece. <laughs> don't say that. All right, next item, Nikki, is this little derp. This little derpy guy. Look at that face. Look at that face, Laura. He's so cute. So he's a $5 start as well, Nikki. Whenever you get a minute. And away we go. He's kind of derpy. He's got yellow painted eyes. He does have some crazing. But... Uh, I will let um, everybody know that while we're doing this we're gonna have a, a regular we're gonna try a regular vamp sale on wednesday nights oh my god Eight thirty. that's never gonna 8 30 central happen. i told you were gonna do a regular whatnot sale i really was but that, that never happened that's by myself this is like a group of people oh so it's gonna be like vintage variety yeah and it's for like from six to nine Okay. Eastern. Got Ruthie well, at seven. Really six to ten Eastern, I guess. Now I've got Perry at eight. And um, so eight thirty Central, nine thirty mm -hmm. Eastern. Okay. 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 Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes doesn't take a lot of commitment, right? Mm hmm. Pretty. It's, but it'll be fun because then everybody knows when to tune into Vamp because you know it's kind of random at the moment. That's true. It's Perry. <laughs> I was packing orders the other night, Perry, and uh, I was packing yours, and I started singing that, <laughs> and I didn't stop yeah. all night. <laughs> Thanks for that, Perry. <laughs> I did it literally for hours. <laughs> it's Perry. 
Sorry. Thanks, Perry. I have this pitcher. I don't have any cups, but this pitcher has little tomatoes on it. It's a little juice pitcher. We really used to drink juice out of one that looked like that. Look how cute it is. It's got these little tomatoes painted on the sides. And it doesn't sit on its top, so like the spout is like upright. It sits at an angle, which is adorable. Look how cute. It's just adorable. Who doesn't love that? And then you can just pour your your stuff. Right? Yeah. It's it so doesn't cute. have to be tomato juice. It can be any juice. Thanks, Aaron. Aaron likes my glasses. Oh, isn't that nice? Five dollar start. We're doing five dollar starts, people. Yep. You, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. You, you Great for Bloody Marys. You can't beat a five dollar start. With the little tomatoes on it. Yeah. That's cute. It really is. I'm not a tomato juice person. When do you drink tomato juice? You know. <laughs> like, do you drink drink it like in the morning like you drink orange juice? I don't like tomato juice. My grandmother used to can tomato juice. For your V8. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Show that decal better. Okay. Nikki's <laughs> bossy. Tomatoes painted on the side. And flat, it's like flat, so it sits at an angle. I think that's the best. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> After you drink poison and need to make yourself throw up. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But Bloody Marys, that's a great idea. Yeah. Agree. Anytime it's like a snack, Helen says. Okay. I, I can get... I, I can see that. I only like tomato um, juice like in soup. <laughs> what? Nikki's like cackling. Nothing. Sorry. My mom drank tomato juice as an appetizer. Really? That's what she, that's what that said. Nettie says a Bloody Mary on an airplane tastes great. Oh. Only on an airplane? Do you know I hate I don't like Bloody Marys, but the best looking Bloody Mary I've ever seen was at Outback. My friend liked them and she would order one and it looked delicious. Has anybody had one at Outback? Interesting. Who did you have, Nikki? Uh, Mom. Moon Laura. Laura Moon Woman. I still have yours with oranges on it. Do you still have that? Oh. That's what, that's what I was saying. I had the little... Cute. I had one just like this. That's adorable. Or mom did. It's Perry. Okay. You're, you're really doing it back there. I told you so. Thank you, Laura Moon Woman. Oh, these are nice. Are they? Yes. These. You, you know where those came from? No. I was like, where do we get those? They're like wooden. I was, that, this was the, um, these came from the estate sale that I was trying to be first at line, in line at, and the one lady beat me, and I wanted that diamond butt swung vase, and she ran for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was that sale. Nice. <laughs> Memories. So these are like wooden candlestick holders wooden and painted i think so um i don't think they're painted well they've gotta be no it's just like a dark finish okay what? laura says it's a dark finish it is great yeah okay wooden candlestick holders five dollar start oh that lady nikki nikki's doing it Laura, turn your sound off. That's driving so me crazy. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. $5 start on these wooden candlestick holders. $5. It's a nice show. It really is. Yeah, I think these are really cute. You know who's really cute? Who? Oh, I thought you were going to point at me. You're going to no, point at little, little Frank. Frank. The only thing I don't like about these cheaters, I like all these new designs that I've gotten, but they almost hit me like right across the middle of my eyeball when I'm looking at the camera. Are they not supposed to? 
Well, I mean, I guess that's what they're supposed to do because they're cheaters because they're just for reading. But Right. I mean, when you've got people to look at like this, they get in the way. See. Here, you can hand those to me. I'm making a stack over here. Oh, I'll, I'll just put them right here. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Don DiGiulio. You've got it, my friend. Okay. This is <laughs> what? Melinda said, quick, get him be some home co. Home co. This is a little hand painted jar. Yeah. It's like Asian motif jar. It's kind of that Amari pattern. Mm-hmm. Eclectic Deb. Laura, progressive lenses. I think that I'm at that point, Deb. I think you're right. I think I'm going to have to have the lenses that are clear at the top and then have the readers in the bottom. Although I don't want to do that, but. Oh, Aaron, what a great idea. What? <laughs> That's such a. These people are so smart. You, she said you should get an ice maker ringtone. Oh, that's funny. Notification tone. That's great. <laughs> That'd be great. That would be really funny. Okay. $5 start on this little jar, Nikki. Melinda says that's geisha wear. Geisha wear. All right. Very nice. And you can feel the paint like it's raised just a little bit. So $5 start on this little jar. Lidded jar. And Amy says, Jamie, we got to talking about fights breaking out at estate sales. <laughs> and we think yours should have been included. That's a great story. <laughs> remember she, they keyed their car over the pyrex. Yeah, yeah, I remember. That's crazy. Oh, mom said, mom confirmed the geisha girl pattern. Sorry, mom. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. I'm writing it right now. Geisha wear. No, it doesn't. Fields of summer. It does not. No, but do you know what? Fields what? of summer. Do you know that I found a whole box of that that I forgot we had? And it, they do have the geisha in it. It's a whole tea set. Where is it? It's at your house? Yeah. Nice. We need to get that out. Yeah. Maybe we'll show that next week. Is anybody interested in that? Maybe. Got Lisa Day at seven. Lisa Day. Thanks, Lisa Day. You guys, um, stay tuned. We're going to drink and draw. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Even though you're not supposed to. It's on like Donkey Kong. Next item is this little gray deer laying down. I believe this is a handmade piece because he's signed. Bates, I believe, right there. But he's really well done. And he's gray, painted gray. It's very sweet. $5 start on this little deer. $5 start, Nikki. What am I going to call him? Gray deer. And here we go. Like Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> yeah. Look how sweet. Very cute. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> it's a sign to finish Bates Motel and in turn oh, to finish the podcast. Yes. yes. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for calling me <laughs> out there. Appreciate it. Appreciate that so much. Angela says, I have that in a darker glaze. Cool. I propose maybe when we finish the whole first season of Mad Men mm -hmm. that we switch the podcast to something you don't have to study for. Oh, that's fine. That might not take up so much time. C correct. We could just do like Nikki was talking about that old show that was called Dinner in a Movie. Mm-hmm. We could just do a podcast on something we've watched before or something that we just watched 
but that we wanted to watch, not that we had to pick and study for. Right. True. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who is this, Dawn? I think it's going to be. Okay. Nikki hasn't called it yet. Okay. Dawn to Julio. I mean, not that you, I mean, we love to study for the Mad Men thing, but you don't really have time. Angela's got a point. What? Oh, look, I'm holding this. She says, you've watched Mad Men before. I know, but it's. We just talked about that, Angela. She's got to go back and do it from the beginning. Like, we have to, we watch it like three times before the podcast. Well, it's so much, you know, it's, it's a lot. It is. It's a lot to remember. All right, we've got this deer. It's not really a planter. It's more of a... It's an ashtray. Oh. See yeah, it? it is. It's got the grooves at the front, doesn't See? it? Yeah. But you wouldn't have to use it for an ashtray. You could not use it... Not at all, because it's not super obvious. You could put soap in it if you wanted to. Or no, it keys. does have a little nick right here that needs to be touched up. Ah. But it's very shallow. You could just touch it up with some brown paint and be right back in business. But, yeah, I mean, you could, like, put keys in that or change in the front. Anything, really. You could put it on your desk. Yeah, so that's cute. It's a little family. Oh, it's a family. It's a little dear family. Oh, a family, Laura. <laughs> $5 start, Nikki. I guess I should show the bottom. It's kind of like kind of hollow. hollow. All right, $5 start, and away we go. Da da da. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, you can make a pond. That's cute. Oh, a pond. It's a cute idea. I don't think any fish would swim in there. It's too shallow. My my bet would be change or keys or soap. Jamie said, I want you to do blind reaction videos to random videos we send you. That's great. Oh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, I would like that. Remember when Jamie sent us that? Didn't she send us a video the first time we started the podcast where she was like at the Grand Canyon or some like national landmark place. I don't remember. I think she did. I don't remember that. Oh, soap dish. That's great. Or jewelry. That's a good idea too. Oh, they're so cute. They're a little family. I'm shocked that those are not more popular. <laughs> oh, so cute. Dear family. Happy old soul. Happy Dish. old soul. Happy old soul. Thank you so much. <gasps> home coal. Put it in your home. Yes. I have a piece of home coal and it's an owl. And he's chilling here on this log and he has his home coal sticker. I didn't remember he was home call. You can't beat that. Five dollar start, Nikki, on that home call owl. You can't beat it. This is so retro. Like, I feel like this was on everybody's grandparents' mantle. I or think something. so too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Home call. You can sing your song while you bid. <laughs> I think he's cute. Yeah, and he has a sticker. That's fun. Very cute. I think all those notifications you were hearing was is my vamp sale coming together. Oh, really? Yeah, I just turned on. I realized that I wasn't getting Instagram notifications. I guess that's kind of crazy, though, because I guess there's going to be a lot of those now that yeah. I've turned them on. I'm probably going to have to turn them off again. Yeah, probably so. Okay. That's for you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, Dawn, it's fine. Uh-huh. Dawn. Dawn, she can't resist. Five dollars, right, Dawn? Yeah, you can't read that. Okay. This is a little tray. And it's marked something. Oh, this is cute. Uh, we're going to have some takers on this. I can't tell what the name the name of the tray is on the bottom. But you're going to get this little ceramic tray. 
I was going to put that on eBay, but they don't allow you to sell perfume anymore that does, that's not labeled with the ingredients and stuff. Um, I, I'm sure it'll ship fine. Just that little bitty yeah. amount. But look how cute those bottles are. I mean... <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is okay. Is everybody awake? <laughs> Hello. Well, now, Hello, everybody. Now I can show the tray. <laughs> There's the tray. Oh, my God. That's funny. Everything's fine. But the tray is really cute. I mean, these little bottles are probably worth $10 a piece. You think? Yeah. They're collectible, these little, these little bitties. Look at them. This one is called Secrets de Essences. This one's this one's empty. This yeah, one's just how, a jar. Why are perfumes so hard to pronounce? It seems like that would not be a good marketing plan. Tresor by Lancome. That's that one. That one's got a little spray thing on it. What else you got over there? Oh, what's this one? Nino Ciro Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is this one? This one looks like a little UFO. Yeah, it does. Taboo perfume. One landed in my wine glass. <laughs> yeah. That's how one of them landed in there. <laughs> this Nina Ricci. And that one's empty. Okay, so you could wear those before you head to the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> How many are there? How many do you have over there? Two, Two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they're so cute in that tray. I so just it's nine bottles total. Should we should we switch our rules and start it higher, or what do you want us to do? Well, I got these in Springfield, and I paid a dollar a piece for them. Okay, I don't mind to sell them for what I paid for them. But okay. I hate to sell them for less than that. So let's start them at 10 because there's nine bottles in the tray. Yeah. So let's start it at 10. So really it's a dollar a piece instead of $5 a piece. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're getting nine bottles in the tray and the tray is adorable by itself. Hopefully I don't drop these again. (laughs) Oh God. So nine bottles in the tray. We're going to start them at 10. Here we go. The tray is adorable in and of itself. And nothing broke when I dropped it. <laughs> That's so great. Sorry I did that. <laughs> I bet that was really loud. <laughs> I can't wait to rewatch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 18 seconds. I'm seeing Susan at 16. <laughs> cool bar tray for barbie true it was jarring (laughs) i bet it was antique bird lady durable durable (laughs) i'm seeing sandra at 20 i'm gonna let you have those okay (sighs) what a disaster that was (laughs) imagine if they all broke oh my gosh it would be so smelly that would be so bad that might have shut you down for the night. That might have done it. I don't like to break <laughs> I things. Know. Well, and you don't like to smell all that stinky perfume either. Yeah, that might have done me in. <laughs> okay, Nikki's refreshing. You're so cute. Somebody's going to love this. Whoever you are, you're going to love it. Whoever you are. All right, Susan Davis at 21. Okay. Nice, Susan Davis. We don't even have to ship them. They're going to be all just waiting for you. They're so cute. Very cute. Oh, look at those. Thank you, Susan Davis. Those are cute little juice glasses. All right, let's do this teacup next. Okay. This says hand-painted fern it's dirty fern (laughs) it really does it says fern 
hand painted fern. I love a cup that stands up on its little feet like that. Excuse Thank me. you. Mm -hmm. So cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the color is sort of uh, kind of a reddish burgundy and uh, kind of a tan color with gold embellishments. And the it's kind of yellow. Yeah, kind of. And the edges are a little scalloped, like kind of flower petals. Same on the teacup. It mirrors that, and it's got little feet. So that's really sweet. Oh, I love that. Isn't it? Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, $5 start. $5 start on this little teacup and saucer. Nikki? Me too. Let's, let's go to the hot tub. Oh, my God. All right, $5 start on this sweet little dirty fern teacup and saucer. <laughs> I'm seeing Fields of Summer at 7. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing Susan at eight. I think a teacup and saucer collection is adorable. Yeah. I love that for, if you guys don't know, if you like are kind of fresh into vintage and you don't know what to collect, something fun is a teacup and saucer because they're never very expensive. Yeah. And they're so pretty. Fields of Summer is in at 10. Behind Laura's head. I see them peeking. Yeah, there's a pair back there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Debbie. That would have been a nightmare. That would have been so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've got some glasses back there. I don't know how you feel about selling those. We drink out of them a lot. Oh. These, this, there's two pair of sets of glasses up here. Oh. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to say, you guys, with the crafting channel... Thank you guys for all the views on the crafting channel. I have, I've, I've slipped a little. I'm supposed to be doing two, at least two a week. And I think I messed that up last week. Great. And so I didn't really get any subscribers last week, but I'm going to be back on it. What a racket. I know it's a racket. It really is. <laughs> I think we've got Susan Davis at 11. What? Yeah, we got it. All right. So these deer, they're the same deer. You're going to get both of them for one price. I think they're peeking at those. Oh, maybe. One of those is broken. Yeah. Um, so we got two deer. This one says Catalina, like the Catalina wine mixer. And this one, I don't know what's up with him. It looks like, I don't know if, if he had writing on him, like up and down at one time or not. But he does not say Catalina, but he's got some black markings. Maybe he did say it, though. Maybe. But it would have been odd for it to go up and down like that. But anyway. Anyway, so we've got two of them. We're going to start them at $5, and you're going to get both. You're going to get the pair. Let me see. I'm going to read Aaron's story real quick okay. before you start the clock. My bestie's grandpa gave her a teacup for every birthday and died when we were 17 and he picked out one for her 18th birthday before he died Aww. so she would have the full set oh that's very sweet that is so sweet it really is well that's a good idea that's something really cute to give your granddaughter five dollar start you're gonna get both you're gonna get both they have some crazing this one clearly says catalina and this one has some black markings up and down on its neck to its belly. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, are you kidding? Or is that true? I think it's true. I don't think that she's kidding, but it's just ironic that she yeah. has the same kind of story. I agree. <laughs> I like their ears. They've got like mice ears. I'm going to say a pair of Catalina deer. <laughs> mm-hmm. How are we doing on that shelf? We're, we're doing pretty good, I think. All right. Yeah. Six that's, seconds. That's a sweet story, Jamie. I'm 
I'm going to give those to you. Aaron said Jamie invented teacups. <laughs> Didn't she? I agree. <laughs> oh. Angela, thank you. I'm going to break my rule again. I'm going to start these a little higher than five. You're going to get three of these. And they are like kind of a thumbprint pattern. But they're a little a little carnival-y looking. Mm -hmm. Like a little opalescent or something. Iridescent. Iridescent. Thank you. Iridescent. That's the right word. They look like that Georgian pattern. You know, mm. like Viking Georgian pattern. Because my mom used to have the ruby red ones. Oh, yeah. But they were a different shape than this. But they had the same kind of thumbprint thing. Gotcha. But these are so sparkly and pretty in the light. But, yeah, they've got that, like, thumbprint indentions all the way around. But we only have three of them. So I'm going to start these at nine. That would make them $3 a piece. So a $9 start on these three glasses, Nikki, when you get a second. Nine dollar uh, start, and you're gonna get all three. It's really picking up the iridescence really well there. Yeah, these are beautiful. So nine dollar start, and you're gonna get all three. Yeah, the luster, like the lustery. And they're all in good shape. Yeah, they look great in that light, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a fan. I wonder if they are the Georgian pattern. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like you're drinking bubbles. It out does of these. look like bubbles. Here you go. We're going to do a few more. A few more things, and then we will transition over to the game portion. Jerry, thank you so much. We've got you. Gotcha, gotcha. This is going to be our bonus elephant for the night. Look at this little chub. <laughs> Look at this little chubby guy. So this is a planter. He's really chubby and cute, and he's got his trunk up. Look at his little legs. He's very sweet. So this is our bonus elephant for the night. A $5 start, Nikki, on this guy. I feel like that's a really cute gift. Oh, yeah. That's the perfect, that's the perfect gift, really. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you could just, like, put some Hershey's Kisses in there or something, and mm -hmm. that would be perfect. For anybody. Like, it's cute. You could, it could be for a kid. It could be for an adult. It's just adorable. Yeah. Who wouldn't love that with some candy? Elephants are good luck. I personally love him. I picked him out from, um, from, uh. Jeffrey. 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 Yeah. From yeah, I think we did store. get, I think we bought him from Jeffrey. Jeffrey's pop-up sale. Myself. Oh. Sourced by Nikki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cute. An air plant would be perfect. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Indeed. That's for you. Boo, no, no. What's he doing? He was just being nosy. Oh, he's so grumpy. I feel like he was going to knock something over. <laughs> that would be cute. Hi, Karen Gillette. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? All right. Thank you, Miss Dawn. We got you. Okay, thank you, Dawn. We got you. You guys, we do, we're doing really good on our shelf. 
Yeah, oh, we are. you're bringing out the big guns now. This Except little guy. They're damaged. <laughs> this one is not damaged, I don't think. I don't see any. But he, his cold paint is toast. His cold paint has seen better days. But look how cute he is. Cutest little guy ever. He's with the perfect candidate for your crafting. Um, you grab that, I about dropped it. Assemblages. Mm-hmm. Now, he has a friend. He has a friend. His friend has really been through some stuff. This leg has been broken and he's, glued back on. He's an Esco, Amy says. And this leg has a huge chunk out of it. So, somebody dropped him. Um... Yeah, so this one's been broken off and re-glued. Big chunk out. This one's been broken off and re-glued with a big chunk out. So those two legs there in the forefront have been repaired. They're just so cute. I couldn't stand to just I know, and, get rid of them. You know, and they face different ways. So they obviously go together. So I hated to throw the broken one away. But we were going to start them both. This one's in perfect condition except for his cold paint. Here, I'm going to let you hold the broken one. Okay. Uh, we're just five dollar start, and you can you're gonna get both. So, oh, you know what? This one's not in perfect condition. <laughs> I lied. His leg's been broken and glued on too. All right. Well, anyway, five dollar start. You're gonna get them. Been through the ringer. You're gonna get them both. I apologize for the misinformation, <laughs> but uh, these these are you know damaged. <gasps> Everything's good. <laughs> I'm glad we picked the heavy duty wine glasses for tonight. <laughs> the extra strength ones. Look, it's focusing on mine. Like he's so cute. Yeah. So both of these guys have been damaged. So both of them have have repairs. So they're both perfect for assemblages, especially him, because his paint looks good, even though his chunk is out of his leg. You can just like put him in there, <laughs> glue him in. I knocked you know? over a piece of brass down here, and it clinked up against my wine I know glass. it was loud. Sorry, Sorry. guys. <laughs> it was a pretty hefty hit there. We've gotten a thumbs down tonight, by oh, the way. Oh, dear. Somebody's really upset with us. Well, you know. <laughs> they're very sweet, even though they're repaired and broken. It's like Lilo and Stitch's family. <laughs> It's little and broken, but still good. But still good. Still good. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. This is my family. Oh. I found it all on my own. It's little and broken, but, but still, still good. good. <laughs> God. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, oh Hannah. <laughs> I love Lilo and Stitch. Oh. Dawn. <laughs> oh, Hana. All right. Here's the piece of brass that just clanked into my wine glass. But we're all good. Thank you, Dawn DiGiulio. Oh, Holly. Lilo and Stitch is good. Holly, I highly recommend, even by yourself, for you to watch that movie. I think it's underrated. It's very underrated. I have a brass goose. <laughs> Swan. It's a bird. It's a fowl. It's very 80s. $5 start, Nikki. And or mid-century because... True. They had them in the, in the mid-century. True. I just think of du ducks and geese as the 80s. But you're right. Lots of uh, brass. On my pot. Oh, okay. While y'all are bidding on this. On the podcast that I like to listen to. $5 start, Nikki. We can do hard things. They were talking about. Glenn and Doyle was talking about going to the ESPYs with her wife, Abby w Wombat. Wombat. I hate that because it sounds like you're trying to say Wombat. $5 um, start. Here we go. So I always stumble over it. But 
she hates all, you know, she hates like all the red carpet, all the cameras and everything. So they go, they show up because it, Abby wants to take her kids and impress her kids because she's handing out one of the ESPYs. And they, she's like, I get there and not only do we sit on the front row, which is horrifying. It's like, here we are, we're led down to our seats. They're the front row. The cameras are right there in my face. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm trying to look normal. I'm telling myself, look normal, look normal, look normal. And she said, I think I'm making a normal face. And Abby leans over and is like, oh, my God, what are you doing? She's whispering, stop making that face. Stop making faces. What are you doing? And she's like, I didn't know I was making faces. And then they decide. She said, then if somebody comes up to the front row and puts a piece of plastic over the end seat, this empty seat. She said, I thought Michelle Obama was going to get seated next to me because she was presenting. And she said, you know how all the big celebrities get ushered in at the last minute. She said, but they come and put this piece of plastic. And she said, and then I turn around to see what's happening. And coming towards me is the hugest duck slash goose that I've ever seen. A live one. So they were doing a skit like with the Aflac duck, like Aflac was the sponsor. And she's this goose. They just come up and like plop it in the seat for the award show. And it's just sitting there next to her. She's like, the feathers are touching my arm. And she said, this giant goose is sitting here and I'm supposed to look normal on national TV. Isn't that funny? That's funny. It's a funny thing to think about. Nikki, who won? (laughs) Susan Davis. Let me see. Okay. (laughs) Isn't that a great story? It really is. So funny. It's really good. Great podcast. Laura loves Glennon Doyle. Next one. I love Abby, too. Next one, you're getting not one, not two, but three puppies. <laughs> look at those puppies. Aww. Oh, look at them. Look at their little sweet faces. They're so cute. All right, $5 start, Nikki, and you're going to get all three puppies. Three puppies. You ready, Nikki? Here we go. Three puppies, and they look real happy at you. Yeah, (laughs) just in case the duck yelled Aflac and had an accident in the chair. It did have an accident in the chair. No. Is the rest of the story. Yikes. Yeah. Because they just do that all the time. Geese do. (laughs) I like these puppies. Oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. Look at their faces. Those are like MB puppies if I've ever seen it. Oh. I like a sweet puppy. There you go. For you. Thank you. Mm Mm-hmm. I think we're, I think what's about done. Is that good? Yeah. I, we cleared, we did a pretty good job on those shelves. There's a few more things up there, but I think that was pretty good. I've got Dawn at five. Dawn Julio. Thank you so much, Dawn. <clears throat> Just a reminder, if you are a winner tonight and you've never purchased from us before, we do need a little bit of information from you. We would like your YouTube name and your real name your mailing address and your PayPal email address. And you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Laura and I do invoices on Sunday evenings and we ship out on Monday and Tuesdays. Nice. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. That concludes the sale portion this evening of our show. Um, so I know a lot, some of you leave after the sale, which is fine. But uh, don't forget that we do have a sale with Amy, a name or Amy, uh, this coming week. So mark your calendars for that. And uh, I'm real thankful that all of you guys have been with us tonight. Uh, Don't go away, though. We're not finished. We are going going to play a game now. Don't drink and draw. It's where we draw three cards. 
Oh, and gosh. we draw a picture. It's a person, place, or thing, a verb. No. And a place. It's, it's, a, it's a noun, a verb, and a place. Mm-hmm. We just jumped up to 2.20. Hey, people. <laughs> Maybe we've had you guys all along. Maybe. That's great. Don't forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time. But yeah, we're going to play the game. You're getting ready to see something really funny it's if a, you're here, so stay. A noun, a verb, and a place. So that's the name of the game. Amy's sale is Thursday night at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and go bookmark that. Uh, and there is, we're, we're in the midst of a planning a vamp sale on Wednesday night. That's going to be a regular Wednesday night thing. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to be at 8.30 Central on Wednesday night. And I think we ha- we're having a glass showcase sale on VAMP on Friday afternoon. Cool. 2.30 Central. Cool. So just full of full of fun. Yeah. All right, Laura, will you grab the box over there of uh, drawings stuff, the, the cards? Yes. Please. I can do it. Great. Here they are right here. Okay. So these I'm are scared all, of this game. These are all mixed up. Let's take some of these away that those look like things we've probably done before you guys we we are now now that Mary Beth's got the setup here to do it we're saving our drawings and I've taken pictures even of some of the last ones and I'm gonna talk Mary Beth into making a calendar and I think for all the members I think if you've been a member for X amount of time here in the future, we're going to make a calendar for you. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Wouldn't that be great? We'll just send them out for free. You'll have to teach me how to do it. I'll have to make the calendars. Because you can't depend on Mary Beth to do it. No, because she's busy. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? More cards. <laughs> Let's do some of these. These look like cards we haven't used as much. So we've got locations. Okay. Actions. Oh, yeah. They've got different colored corners. Yeah. Person. Okay. God help me with this drawing pad or whatever we've got. All right. So I'm going to draw three cards. Just right off the top. Oh, <laughs> Some of these have are repeats, but you know, not all of them. After we just did all that? If they're a repeat, just put it back. No, this is funny. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's share our screen. So you should be able to see uh, the screen here. So can they see us too? Yeah. I don't see us on the on the Well, Laura. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Let's get our comments over here so we can see them. Okay. Here we go. You ready for this? Velociraptor wants there to be a rule about no erasing. No erasing. Aflac. It's a duck. A duck? (laughs) Oh, it's a unicorn. We need a new MB drawing video, too. (laughs) Oh, my God. I know how this works. I'm going to wait and let some people guess. I've got a good guess for some of it. Who said champagne cork? (laughs) She said you two aren't exactly visible. Oh, we're not? I thought we had a little circle. Oh, we're we're out of the circle. Sorry. (laughs) Oh, I've probably got my knees on Mary Beth. She's, She's probably having a fit. Is that better? Mary Beth needs to lean in. 
<laughs> well, I'm doing my best. <laughs> oh, a minion riding a unicorn. An egg riding a unicorn. A Humpty Dumpty riding a unicorn. It is Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and a unicorn. Oh, God, he's in something. In a boat. No, he's in a box. He's in a soapbox derby. He's in a wagon. <laughs> in a hot tub. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Okay. In a bathtub. In a wagon. In a coal mine? <laughs> a coal mine. <laughs> In a radio flyer? Sailing in a boat, says Claire. A roller coaster. A roller coaster, that's right. Oh my god, what kind of roller coaster is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> a roller coaster? It is a roller coaster. It is. Lord. It's you Humpty should, Dumpty. You should have drawn them upside down on a track. Riding a unicorn <laughs> on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, God, it's my turn. Wait, it's... It's... Humpty... Dumpty... Riding... A unicorn... You know what's funny about on you? On a... Roller coaster. You remember that song? Roller coaster, coaster of love. <laughs> Say what? Yeah, how do you know that song? Everybody so knows old. that song. It's so old. They re they made a remake of that. Oh. Yeah. Um, you know what's funny about you? No. Okay, I always say that you're like full of contradictions. You don't seem like a type of person who would have beautiful handwriting. Oh, I don't. It is. Look at that H. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love your handwriting. That's funny. Oh, see, it, it, uh, Heather just said it at the same time as me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. What? I'm trying to. Get rid of this. Okay, here we go. All right, do you want to go? Is it your turn? Yeah. You hate it? <laughs> I know you hate this pen tablet. We've got too much stuff on the table. Who are you texting? Uh, Jamie, she asked me a question. <laughs> What's, uh, Jamie, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Hang on just a second. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh no! Did you drop something too? Yeah. Oh my god! I dropped these cards. Okay. All right, Laura. Laura, talk. Stop talking to Jamie. <laughs> she was asking me about one of these sale things. I don't even like her. <laughs> It was a joke. Just kidding. I do like her a lot. <laughs> okay. Here's the pen. Mm -hmm. There's your pen tablet. God help me. Now don't look at it. I'm pretty, I'm not too terrible at this game with markers, but I can't do it with the pen tablet. You can do it. You can do it. You just kind of hover. Don't forget to draw your cards. I just want to go on the record and be helpful here and say don't forget don't end this show without talking about the hot tubs again. <laughs> oh we won't because you've been promising that that would come back yeah. let's draw the hot tub we gotta settle it okay laura's drawing her cards as we speak okay i'm just gonna take off the top ones i mean maybe i need to make this like an oval can i make it an oval maybe i can make it a <laughs> rectangle oh that's better uh, look I, i've got to trade one out i mean i just did this one place okay 
Can trade I trade it? Out. it? Do it. Trade okay, it out. look, I'm going to put it over here so we don't... I look, don't I made us a rectangle so now people can see us. And it was so bad that it would be memorable. Yeah. You would know immediately what I was doing. Yeah. Oh, God. That one, too. I the promise you. The game is you. called Don't Drink and Draw. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is really... This is really funny. Okay. Okay, so... Don't tell people. You have to draw it. I'm not going to tell people. I don't know what you do. When when you're as good as you are, you can do all of it together. Sometimes yeah. I might have to draw these things separately, although I'm going to try to do it all together. Okay. We're ready. I'll do it all together first. And then if I if you can't get it, then I'll separate it out. Oh, we've been ready for days. <laughs> Okay, so you hover above the pen tablet. So just kind of hover. Okay. Here's your mouse. So that little clo- circle? Get closer. Get closer without touching it. There you go. Okay. Okay, you see where your mouse is? Yeah. Okay, let's go down a little. You got to get close. You just have to hover barely above it. Don't look at it. Don't look at the pen tablet. Oh. Look at the screen. <laughs> God. Okay. Yeah. And when you're ready, you press down. Okay. All right. Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of how I, I've got to start. My problem is I, tar- I start too small and yeah. then I don't have room to get the game across. Yeah. I mean, the idea across. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to try to do it big. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Don't pay attention to curvy lines. I can't draw them straight with this thing. Colorado. No. (laughs) That's funny. Okay. (laughs) Oh, no. Uh, how... Why is it? Why did it stop? Oh, oh no! <laughs> God, oh no! Do you want to undo that? Yeah. Ah, uh, what? It's not doing. I'm I'm drawing and it's not drawing. Well, you're not doing it right then. Well, obviously. <laughs> what I mean, what? <laughs> How many ways can you take the pen and draw it across the pad? Laura, just freaking draw. I'm trying. Don't look at the thing. I am going to get mad. There you go. Okay. A grid. A quilt. A jail. Is it a jail? Really? Prison? It's jail? Well, which is it? Yes, it's jail. Okay, jail. Oh. Damn it. Okay. What? All right. Okay, just hang on. I'm hanging. Water. A, a ocean prison. <laughs> Sea World. No. The animals are in jail at Sea World. <laughs> no. Um oh god. Here we go. The ocean. A person. A stick man. <laughs> Shit. Oh, breaking out of water prison. A bow tie? A dress. Boobs. Marilyn Monroe. A queen. A princess. What is it? Just hang on. Is it a princess? Mm hmm. Is it a but that's particular not the answer. princess? Is it Princess Diana? Kate Middleton photoshopping her own pictures. <laughs> Pr- 
Prince, it's Ariel in the water. A pumpkin. Cinderella? Yeah. It's Cinderella in jail in the water. <laughs> yeah, but that's not it yet. Oh, no. Don't hit the button. Okay. Just push back down on the thing. On the canvas. There you go. Cinderella. Okay, just hang on. It's Cinderella swimming in jail. Almost. Cinderella snorkeling in jail. <gasps> Almost. Dixie, what are you doing? Almost. Cinderella deep sea diving. Almost. <laughs> Cinderella <laughs> scuba diving. Yes. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Cinderella scuba diving in jail. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Isn't that great? That was really special. Well, the special thing is I can't write. I don't understand why you're having so much trouble with that. What is so funny? I don't understand why you're having so much trouble with that pen tablet. No, Dixie. Cinderella scuba aving, drive diving in jail. (gasps) (laughs) Oh wait, stop! I'm gonna. I didn't sign it. Okay. Quit fighting me. Quit fighting me. Who? You. Oh, I'm not doing get it. Get off of it. I didn't move okay. anything. Okay, now go. <laughs> hey, I, I wrote my name pretty good. That was great. <laughs> Is that a pumpkin? <laughs> it was, but I needed to put big wheels. Like a carriage. A carrot? A carriage. Oh. Like a pumpkin into a carriage. Yeah. Here, you hold this. Okay. That was really, really, really good. <laughs> I'm glad we had that time together. <laughs> All right, I'm going to draw some cards. <laughs> No, I don't. I'm telling you, it's really hard to do. It really is. I will agree. All right. Okay. That's what the handicap should be. You should have to draw left-handed. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. All it's right. Okay, we won't do that. They like to see you draw good. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We just see your faces concentrating really well. Okay, sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm not going to answer right at first because we have that lag. Okay, you. she started over. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Is it? Yeah. Oh. What's she doing? (laughs) Okay. I'll I'll, I'll let them guess a little bit. Princess Leia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, it's Princess Leia with a sword. Well, that's a lightsaber, a, so you know who she is. With a lightsaber. No, that's a just butter so you, knife. No, that's just so you know who she is. She's having an operation. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay, wait. She's levitating. 
<laughs> She's floating. She's dead. There's a needle. Oh, she is on a table. Donating blood. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, who did that? Uh, Angela. Cutting off her own hands. <laughs> Jumping on a trampoline. Pammy whammy. <laughs> and Carrie said uh, giving blood, too. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my oh gosh. god. <laughs> oh. On a volcano? That's right. Princess Leia giving blood on a volcano? That's it. God. <laughs> oh my lord. That's in it. heaven. <laughs> That's terrific. It's terrific. I don't know how you spell that. Hold on. L. I think it's just E-I-A. Yeah, it is. No. Well, that'll do. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. What do you mean that it's a contradiction that I have nice handwriting? You just don't seem like the type of person that would give a shit about their handwriting. Really? Yeah. Do you guys think so? Are you offended that that's a contradiction? Yeah. You have a lot of contradictions. Really? Well, I just feel like that's not nice. <laughs> Why? It just, it just, it's not meant to be nice or bad. Well, I mean, I just don't understand. I think of nice handwriting as like a foo foo thing. Like, I wouldn't expect you to wear a fancy dress. Yeah, with I don't a, with a do hoop that. skirt or yeah, I don't want to do that. Paint your nails pink or wear sparkly eyeshadow. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, that's the same kind of thing. Is that bad? Well, here's the difference. I'm gonna go back to the screen. I don't write like this. <laughs> well, that's not pretty. Well, but I feel like this is more like flu flu. You're right. I don't write like that. I it's feel like, like I like write curls. I Can feel you like, do curls? I feel like I write kind of edgy. Oh, you're trying to be edgy, so that's well, why you're offended. Well, no, I don't feel like I'm trying to be, but I don't feel like it's floofy. Like I feel like you write kind of floofy. Do you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Well, let me see if I can do it. You can't even use the thing. <laughs> Are you trying to imitate me? What is that? Bethel? <laughs> Why do I have an L in I'm there? really bad about putting an extra li line uh, why in there. Why do I... Why is my li name B-E-T-L-H? Bethel. <laughs> How do you write my name? Because you don't write my name very much. That's Laura writing. That's not me. You you dot your I with a circle? I do. That's cute. <laughs> what is that? Two R's and Laura or an M? L... A U R A. <laughs> yeah, but the, you had an extra thing in there. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a whole year of cursive handwriting. I had a whole class oh, in wow. middle school. What? Joy's gonna get mad at you if she's still here. Yeah. Ibby's cursive is stylized, says the Irish girl. True. That's Try spelling strange. our last name in cursive. Write Perlette. Perlette? <laughs> Who said that? Who said it? Marie. Oh. Perlette. I don't know. Oh, I'm in white. No wonder. Just before you... People just love you. Just before you know what, they're just going to be asking you to write their names for them. 
like some sort of tourist attraction. MB that's made her own font. Hey, that's cool. Why don't you make your own font? My own font. Angela says, I love that there's over 100 people watching you all sign your name. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Do you want to draw Claire again? Call, what, what, was it, what did Claire say? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Okay. Draw your cards. Oh, is it my turn again? It is. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Uh oh. In a minute. <sighs> I don't like this one. <sighs> um. I love everybody. <laughs> um. Uh, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can't. We can't keep putting them back. It's not funny if you do that. Correct. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Quit looking at oh. the pen tablet. Okay. Okay. The world. Mars. Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> Earth. Italy. Louisiana. Rome. Florence. Again, I'm not drawing big enough to... Is it Italy? Yes. Well, you need to say when it is, when I guess it. Tilly. Italy. <laughs> okay. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. This is not anywhere. I mean, it's in Italy. So do, just don't pay attention that I'm in the world here. <laughs> Oh, God. In bed. <laughs> In a hospital bed. A mohawk. Um, <laughs> happy God. mohawk person. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate these action bullshit things <laughs> cleaning teeth <gasps> yes yes cleaning teeth that was the hard part yes what is that hair picture sizzling 1934 <laughs> okay hang on hang on something this about is, this, this is what he's thinking okay you ready oh I'm ready I'm so ready um X equals what? X equals two over three. X Y plus <laughs> the square root of <laughs> three divided by <laughs> two times. Oh God! Algebra, <laughs> math, equations, calculus. What? Thinking, dude, thinking about math while he in, he's getting his teeth clean in Italy. Cleaning teeth in Italy, thinking about math. <laughs> this is a particular person. Are they getting it? Look, is look, it look, look, they're Albert getting it. Albert Einstein? Yes. <laughs> Einstein in Italy getting his teeth cleaned? Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you. I only could get the MC, and I didn't think that she would get it just from that. I couldn't remember What's the rest of it. What's X equals two-thirds XY plus three divided by two times two? Just a bunch of math. That's not even a thing. You could have at least come up with something real. 
Well, can you? What other real thing can you come up with? Wait, yeah, I've wait, got wait, one. Wait, wait. I've got a real one wait. for you. <laughs> Jamie, stop it! I was just trying to give him some arms. <laughs> There you go. I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> Is that the quadratic formula? Oh, who knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what the quad quadratic formula is. Oh, the things. <laughs> Look, I was, <laughs> I was writing sideways. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this now. Oh, you're so good at it. Look up the quadratic formula. I want to know if that's right. Please. <laughs> I want to know if it's right. <laughs> I'll look it up. Oh, Carrie's leaving us. Good night, Carrie. X. Oh, yeah. It's not <laughs> that's not it. No, what is it? It's the... Is that it right there? That's what you were trying to write. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. What is that? X equals negative B plus or minus. No, I had it wrong. Plus or minus. Quadratic formula. No, I, you I got said, close. I said a X equals negative D. It's negative B plus or minus a square root of B squared minus 4AC. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had D instead of B. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, you were close. I was close. That Laura, should my be son can B. for the math. LOL. <laughs> that should be B. What did Carrie say? Is she tired of us? Oh. I think she likes it that we started earlier, though, because she likes to go to bed early. True. All right, let's do one more. I'll do one more. Will you hold this keyboard? Nikki can go. Nikki, do you want to play? Uh, not necessarily. It's up to you. No, not really. Okay. She went to get in the hot tub. <laughs> MB, if you allow your brain to forget that formula, you might start dropping things. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay. All right, let's see what I can do. The here. hot tub. The hot tub makes you drunk. Really? And the hot tub is supposed to be sexy, MB. Now we can talk about it. All right. You talk about the hot tub, and I'm going to draw this <laughs> thing. Mary Beth and I were talking earlier about the hot tub, and it was too early to talk about the hot tub because she was talking about why would you want to get in a hot tub in the public or around people. And I said, well, the whole idea is it's supposed to be sexy. It's supposed to be sexy. It's hot and steamy. Is it? And you're in your bathing suit. Okay. And it's hot. <laughs> and okay. bubbly. And your alcohol goes to your head faster in the hot tub. Did you know that? No. Yes, you get drunk faster. Okay. <laughs> Lisa Day thinks we should go live playing this game at the pop-up. Can you imagine Miss Pam playing this game? <laughs> no, but that would be really funny. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Olive oil. <laughs> Florence Nightingale. Hot tubs are not necessarily sexy, there are places to get drunk and have a good time relaxing with friends and family. And no one can see your lumpy body because it's underwater. What's... Somebody said, Laura, that's old 80s lore. It's not. It's the truth. <laughs> it's where we have all our important life conversations in my family. If someone has a problem, we hash it out in the hot tub. <laughs> Somebody will get that. A bishop singing in the rain. (laughs) 
Okay, they're all saying Mary Poppins now. Mary Poppins flipping someone off. They no! <laughs> she doesn't do that. It's a nice show. She's number one, she's saying. <laughs> Oh. 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 She's like in a typhoon. In a waterfall. Yeah, a waterfall. In Niagara Falls. She's jumping off Niagara Falls. Mary, Mary Poppins singing in a waterfall. The notes were just to say that she's Mary Poppins. Right? Yeah. She's jumping at a waterfall. She's bouncing at a waterfall. She's boogieing. She's dancing. Dancing. <laughs> Someone got it in the chat. Dancing. Mary Poppins <laughs> dancing at a waterfall. Nice. Good job. Yay. <laughs> oh, man, that's edgy. Is it? <laughs> don't, don't laugh. Don't make fun Your of me. Your signature. <laughs> don't laugh at me anymore. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, the thing about a hot tub. Yeah. Can is, I turn around and look at you or can I not allowed to do you that? You can. Okay. Is I just don't feel like I want to hang out with people in a hot tub. <laughs> like. Do you want to hang out with them in a cold tub? A pool? Maybe. It's different. Yeah, a cold a tub. Pool is different. A pool. Yeah, that's different. It's a whole big swimming pool. A hot tub is kind of intimate. Like, you're, like, basically touching each other. Well, yeah, didn't I say it was sexy? Yeah, but you also said that you wanted to hang out with, like, ten people in the hot tub. Yeah. Do you want to be sexy with ten people? Well, <laughs> maybe. I, obviously, it sounds like you do. Maybe. I don't feel like I want to do that. Like, I, if it was you and your person hanging out in a hot tub, maybe that's sexy. Well, a lot but of if times it's like, it is. But if it's like you and your person and somebody else and their person and somebody else and their person, I mean, it's like... Why do you think that they put them in these honeymoon suites, you know, in these hotels? Like in the Poconos no, and shit. It's fine the, if it's your, you and your... Your honeymoon suite has a hot tub in it. It's fine if it's you and your person. It's fine. I get it. It's whatever. But it's like people that invite you, they're like, come hang out in the hot tub. I don't want to do that with you. I see. I don't want to hang out with you in the hot tub. I see what you're saying. I don't understand what we're what we're, what are we doing? So you don't want to go to your sister's house and hang out in the hot tub? No, I don't. That's weird. I don't want to do that. Oh, that's funny. It's really funny. Sorry, I just don't. It's weird. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> There's not many people I would want to hang out with in a hot tub. Like your dad and Lisa, you know, hanging out in the hot tub, like at the hotel. No, I don't like want to do that. Like on a softball trip. No, we never did that. That's not anything that was ever done. You don't want to know something interesting? Well, I mean, but kids do that when they go on, you know, they think that's cool to get in the hot tub and at the hotel. You want to know an interesting fact about me and my life? And softball tournaments? Yeah. I was never allowed to get in the pool at a hotel on a softball tournament. Because I was there to play softball. I was not there to have fun. Aww. And swimming makes you tired. It does. He was right. But it, it wears you out a lot. So I was never allowed to do that. You would so do that with kids if you had them. Mm. You would totally do that. You'd yeah. be all, all on board with that. Oh, I'm just like my dad. Yeah. I'm just like him now. You'd be like, 
Nope. Get out Sorry. of here. Get out. Mm-hmm. You, you, you get, get out, out of here. here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm never quick enough to get that. Oh, it hurts to laugh. To get that reference that quick. <sighs> that was fun. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> Sherry, all this makes me sure of is that I never want to get in a hot tub with Mary Beth because I'll think she's judging me. Yeah. I'm not judging anybody. I just don't, I don't know. I just, I would rather hang out with you on shore. <laughs> on dry land. I would just rather hang oh. out with you guys oh, elsewhere. That's funny. I just don't feel like Jamie I need to says, be. I grew up with a hot tub and always went in with my family, but now I'm worried I have some unresolved childhood trauma I didn't know about. I just don't know that I want to take a bath with people. <laughs> oh, I just, I just love everybody. <laughs> I'm like, that's okay, MB. Mm. It'll be okay. Thanks. <laughs> you've got a lot of <laughs> you've got a lot of people agreeing with you. Oh, good. Thanks. Mm-hmm. But I mean, hey, maybe I can be a convert. I haven't done it. You can hold everybody's purse. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold everybody's purse. You guys go in. I'll I'll keep your purse. But <laughs> watch everybody's stuff. Maybe I could be a convert. You maybe could... I don't get it. Yeah. Maybe I'll, tr- I'll like it when I try it. Yeah. I think we should make a video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Let's, let me, I'll try it. I'll try it and I'll report back. <laughs> oh my God. Just not in the hot tub. You love everybody on shore. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Tyler. <laughs> this is a nice show. On that note. But you can't say a bath. On, if everybody came over here, on another note, speaking of a pool, if every one of you came over with a shovel, <laughs> we could put a pool in the backyard in minutes. If I had everybody here with a shovel. Well, can we have a hot tub in the end of it? Sure. <laughs> we'll put in a hot tub, too. I mean, that should be easy to dig up. <laughs> a hole for a hot tub. Uh, yeah. We could put a hot tub in. Uh, yeah. Just a few of us with a shovel. Oh, my God. Yeah. (laughs) Good times. Good job, everybody. (laughs) Deuce Bigelow. What's the Deuce Bigelow scene? Sherry says, Sherry says, Mary Beth, there's no soap involved. We're not sudsing each other up. (laughs) You got to have your glass of wine and just chill out. I just, I mean. I would feel very uncomfortable. Would you? Yeah. The reason she's uncomfortable, the reason this is even a thing that we're talking about is because it's her sister's hot tub. I don't think I would enjoy anybody's hot tub. If it was just a hot tub, it'd be fine. I don't know. Jamie's trying to argue with me. It's not sexy. It's relaxing. No, Jamie. What the hell? <laughs> it is sexy. It's on every, like, have you ever watched The Bachelor? They always have a hot tub out in the freaking middle of a vineyard somewhere. And they get in the hot tub because it's sexy. I would enjoy a vineyard. Yeah. It's on shore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Angela's like, who watches The Bachelor? Me. It's my bonding hour with Megan. I don't watch any reality TV. Laura does. Laura watches a lot of reality I TV. Do. I like it. I don't like reality TV. What's the difference? What's a jacuzzi? What's the difference? I think a jacuzzi is just bubbles in your own tub. I would enjoy that. 
If it was my own like personal your tub, tub that you have in there is yeah. big enough to do that. Yeah. Like a, I used to call it whirlpool or whatever. It's like I would enjoy <laughs> that. If I had my own personal bathtub, my grandmother with my had own one in personal her house. bubbles and nobody else was there, that would be great. <laughs> oh. What's too soon, sugar britches? Oh, yeah, true. <sighs> Good job, everybody. I I won't judge it. I I will try it first, and then I'll judge it later. Okay. Well, we will be sitting on pins and needles. Won't you? Yes. To we to. Do a video from the hot tub. <laughs> I, that's what I said too. Live I, from I the hot tub. I couldn't even get it out. Like I was laughing so hard about it. Yeah. I couldn't finish my sentence. Mm-hmm. We still have retained 145 of you. Thank you so much. If you've not hit that thumbs up button, it would be really excellent if you would do that now. It would be so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. I think that's all I have for the night. Do you? Yeah. All right. That was fun. I think we really did it good. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and look, we, we have all this that's coming up. We're going to be telling right. you guys all about it. So right stay tuned. We'll tell you guys in videos all about the stuff. And we'll be selling it soon. And now we've got some more room. We do. And we consolidate that mm -hmm. for some more. We do. We have some more room. So that's great. All right, guys, I think that's it for us. Make sure to send us your information if you were a winner of an item tonight. Um, we sh I, think, I don't think I remember anybody's name that I didn't have, but just in case, send us an email, uh, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your information so we can get you your stuff. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, everybody who joins us on Friday nights. We appreciate it so much. Please do something fun this weekend. Have fun. Go get in the hot tub. Go get in the hot tub. Why not? <laughs> Why not? YOLO. It's going to be great. <laughs> it really is. It really is going to be fun. <laughs> Do something fun this weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Hang out with your family and friends. Check, check us out on our sales next week. we got one Thursday night on Enamor Amy's channel. Mm -hmm. And a couple of times, I think, Wednesday and Friday on Vamp. Okay. All right, guys, and as always, make sure you stay tuned to say what Fat Bird finds next, and we'll see you next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye, everybody.